Hello. Hello. Say it. Hello. Hello. Anything else? Hello. Anything else to add other than hello? I said say hello. So you might let like you know introduce everything. Say what up. What up? What up? Say what up. What up? What up? Yeah! Hi! I don't know hello. that's a word that I pull off. Hello. You pulled it off well. Hi, hello, hi, 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 hello, 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 hi, hello, hello, hello. Uh, no, Lug715. This is going to be a Planet Coaster stream. Why do you ask that every goddamn stream? <laughs> goddamn. Goddamn. Anyway. Pow! Oh, that actually made everything close when I did that. Alright, there we go. Boom. Action Hank. You never played Action Hank? Which I think is your thing now. Yes, correct. You've never played Action Hank before? It's kind of like a sonic -y... Oh, wait, I was just going to show you the things. From the beginning, so learn the basics if you haven't played this for a while. It's Action Hank. He's a superhero. Anyway. Hi, everybody. Uh, Action Hank is currently <laughs> pounds on... Si Sorry, that's a Did good you just point. vibrate? Did you I just apologize. vibrate on us? Did you just... Whoa. Whoa. Vibrated. Vibrate on us. I'm just at £3.73 in the Steam Summer Sale. Thank you, home, Polecat. Just £3.73 for this cracking game. Pick your opponent. I'm going to go with my personal best. Getting down with the replay file. Okay, so, action hex, nice and simple. You go, you jump, you slide. Go on these bits, jump over those bits, and slide on the slidey bits. Slide there, go fast. And it's a time basey thing. Press that to slide. I did that. Whee! Let it go at the right times. Which I can never remember. Yeah, if you're sliding up here, you're slowing down. And it's a game about going as fast as possible, destroy the thing, and then retry. And watch me destroy myself now. The ghost I'm racing is my own personal best. And, uh, oh, nice. Oh, see, I went for a jump there to get extra momentum. Clever bit of clever in there. Okay, oh, and I'm jumping into that. Is that, that seems to do a lot of good stuff. Oh, had a jump there and a slide. Learning from myself. Had a bounce. That cocked everything up. And that's how the game works. Now you know everything. Anyway, hi everybody. Hello, someone asked if I was going to play this. I can't actually look at it because it makes me feel really sick, so... Really? No, yeah, you just have that on. Oh, it just makes well, me feel a bit is off. that okay? Because it's super blurry, so it's not moving as well. Yeah, I'm not really looking at it. That's fine. Right, I've done those levels, they're easy. I've done most of these. I've only got bronzes though, let's try and get better. Or oh, is there gold? Oh, they're all... Go Wait, what's the star though? Oh, those are challenges. I've got gold across everything, I've been doing loads of this. And I've got a few rainbows. If you do it fast enough, you get a rainbow medal. Actually, if we can do the first one again. Hello, Fleming Yeti. I had cookies and tea. What did you have for breakfast? Same as always, yogurt and biscuits. Oh, Beesma, when Dad Cube puts out a new video so you don't know whether to watch. Oh, I don't know. See, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I think it was so you don't know whether to watch this uh, Dad Cube's video. And you should totally go watch Dad Cube's video because it's probably good. Which one is it? It's the Gang Beast. Gang Beast. You should totally go watch that. Pixels in Space. Hey, Rebecca, can we have you saying hello? It's text alarm and a wake up alarm. I don't think that you really want that. You wouldn't wake up if Rebecca says hello. No Parkling, hi Dan Rebecca, hope you're having a nice evening. Thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Was it Twitch Prime for five months in a row? Thank you. Good on Twitch Prime. Remember to subscribe with Twitch Prime to get all the benefits of Twitch Prime. <laughs> you don't really get any other benefits, do you? Ooh, oh. Good morning, James the Squirrel. I've been awake for about ten minutes. Hi James the Squirrel. Barbie Stig, take my Twitch Prime sub again. Much love. Four month hype. Thank you for subscribing for four months in a row. That's great, thank you. Four month hype! Oh, uh, Summer Games Done Quick is currently on, so, you know, you can watch us for a few hours, and then, uh... Oh, yeah, we haven't, we haven't... Is that on now? Yeah, it's on. I, they start with Nier Automata, so I don't really care, but I can't remember what they're doing. But that's on. That's generating money for charity, so, yeah, if you want to go watch that, I won't mind. Hello, PB and Jammers. I'm going to consider that done. I'm going to play some of the other levels while you do some talking. Dicko, night night, seven just subscribed to Twitch Prime three months in a row. Thank you so much. And they love giving us money. We appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, skedaddle, I'm at work again, but can't miss those twiddly bits. Hope the stream goes well. And Dan, Forza Horizon Hot Wheels stream, question mark. Uh, I'd have to have Forza Horizon, which I don't have a console. I don't have the Xbox One. Oh, is that the one that's on... Oh, God, I missed it. Is that the one that's on um, Windows 10 store? Because I also don't have Windows 10. Great, Saxtonians now getting all the benefits of Prime. Hooray, those great Prime <laughs> benefits. What are Get free shipping, don't you? Oh, I think you meant like Twitch Prime benefits. Oh, Twitch Prime benefits. You get like, Great a Twitch Prime benefit. You get like. You get an icon, don't you? It's, it's, it's the. Get... Is it the Silver Nerd Cubed? Uh, I don't know. I think you get like um, free items and shit for your games as well. 
I, I, I read your sure. subscription, Great Sextonian. I don't pay attention, are I? I'm Hello, Annalee. Woo! Oh, Dan, I'm getting unloaded at Amazon of a full trailer of Lego sets. What? 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 Annalee's getting her trailer, her thingy unloaded. Now come to one, two, three, four, <laughs> Internet Street instead. She's don't go to. Generous. Oh. Yeah, I know. She, she would to me. She knows me. <laughs> How do I do this jump bit? What do I do? Oh, I jumped straight onto it and slid. God, that's a really precise little jump. So this is a really precise little, um, almost puzzle platformer, really. Oh, cock. Jumped the wrong time, but I'm ahead of my best time right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you, me in the past. Fuck you, me in the past. I'm better than you now, but... Oh, hang on, it's got up. Oh, no, he did a better slide there. Oh, no, he's beating me. That's pretty much exactly the same. Yeah, 0 0.01 of a second off. Duh, duh, duh. This is only three pounds something. Currently on the Steam store, cheap in the jig. I can't remember what the, what the Steam sale, that's the one. Because we are currently playing Steam sale games, far from that day where I played Planet Coaster for three days in a row. We'll come back well, to Planet Coaster. That was on the sale, wasn't it, it though? It definitely is. I shouldn't slide up there, I should run up there. I saw a, quite a few people before we started saying that they've been playing Gunpoint since yesterday. Yeah! Sweet! Ah, oh, I hope he's sold a fair bundle of them. Fucking love Gunpoint, man. I finished it today. With breakfast, I decided to play it for an hour or so. Finish it off and just blitz through the last levels. It's so good game. Oh, look at that height I got myself there! Oh, I shouldn't have jumped there. By not jumping, I've gained 0.4 of a second! What?! What?! Deathwin? Deathwin? Is that right? It says, Dan, can you play Super Hexagon on stream? Yes, but you won't like me when I play Super Hexagon on stream. I can't look even remotely at Super Hexagon. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Remember that time I did a video on it? That went really well. All right, go get gold on this one. This is where, this is as far as I've got in the game. You unlock new characters as you go through things as well. What is Gunpoint asks Bill 531? It's the game we played yesterday. Oh, you missed it. Oh, it was a cracker. You should watch the stream from yesterday and then probably pick it up. Or you can watch the Gunpoint video. Where if, I, if I already actually made my own level in the Gunpoint video, I've been done that and I've been in by a <laughs> Or just get the game and find out yourself because it's a good game. Yeah. It's a cracking game. How am I doing that? Gotta be the best. Gotta be the best. Moral of, moral of my life. Piss. Oh, I, he's got a massive head start on me though. I'd have missed it. I don't have any much. <laughs> I enjoy this game. People are asking if I've. Uh, yeah, the gunpoint video was good. Thank you very much. Sorry, I keep, I keep glancing over there. I really shouldn't be. Read things. I'll let you Oh, talk. oh hello. Oh, I don't know what to read now. Is any what? of it. Oh. Oh, I slid. Pixels in space. I'm going through Steam, the now getting games for my nine and a half hour flight. Oh, Jesus. Please. That's, Where are you going? Yeah, that's a good question. The awesome Fletch sub guys, hope you are well watching you from my hot tub with an ice cold cider in my hand. What? Can we join you? Oh, well, 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 well. Might be a nudie hot tub. In which case, I'll be the only one joining. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Exxon Sa Sabra, is that right? Dan, I bought Factorio. Yay, because of you. This game gives me a management bonus. Oh my god, it's the best game. <laughs> I highly recommend everyone plays Factorio, it's amazing. I can't yeah, imagine somebody not enjoying it. Unless you have to have something explode every six seconds. But then you get to fight aliens though. They're not aliens. You're the alien, you crash land on their planet. You know what I mean. Boom, look at that, look at me bringing some Doctor Who knowledge there. Well, I'll Doctor Who. Haphazard Panda says, how satisfied are you with Matt's editing? With Matt's everything? No, editing. Matt's at everything, I'm like, no, he's fucking air, Jesus. <laughs> It's right, I suppose. Whatever, you know, doing a good job. Replaced me. Means we can do streams. Flaming It says my most most recent purchases because of Dan were Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and M. A lot of people bought that because of me. Because a lot of people went, that looks like a piece of shit. And I, when I saw it, I was like, that looks like a piece of shit. And then it wasn't. But. Ow. <laughs> Made a great move there. Oh, I didn't go the top way. That's how I got to get gold. Goldfish eating panda bear has 872 hours in Factorio. <sighs> awesome. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's all. You could have written a book, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you gotta play Factorio, that's better. Where is it? <laughs> oh, piss. 
Killer Me. Hi, Dan, Rebecca. Killer me. I'm drawing some more cover art today, as well as hopefully doing some writing. I should be the perfect way to start my evening. I should have done some writing today. You know what I did for most of the day? Nat. And we're not very well. Yeah. I mean, that took up a lot of your day, but you couldn't really help that. Oh, that's pretty annoying. I'm like, free day! Oh. Still, there's something magical tomorrow. That's why. What's happening tomorrow? Oh. Do I know? Yeah, I thought it was the Mars head. Right, that's oh, I know! I remember! I hit restart from thingy, not totally retry. That's why I was doing really well then. I love all of the twiddlies that you drew. They were really cute. If people haven't seen them, I retweeted them two days ago, I think. They were really sweet. I like them a lot. I like the animal ones a lot. Ooh, just made that. I slow right down there to try and catch up. Oh, and it seems to have worked! Not enough. Ericho! Hi Dan and Rebecca, I will be unable to watch any of your streams for four days as I will be going to Cornwall, so I will be oh, savouring this one the best I can. Yeah. Dan, keep up the good work, Rebecca, keep up the amazing put nocturne, and thank you so much. I hope you have a nice time. You're going as like a holiday. Uh, Pickles in Space, I'm going to Mexico, so need lots of games to pass the time. I also got some old Doctor Who from Amazon video to watch, so thanks Dan for the recommendations. Yeah. I'll have to talk about that when you get back. That's not what you think. New Who or Old Who? Old Doctor Who. Room. Yeah, talk about old Doctor Who. Let's talk about that poor blue bastard. Hashtag RIP the blue guy. That's my new hashtag. Fuck it, I'm just gonna slide down here for ages. Should I buy Factorio? I only have £39. If you have £39. Yes. <laughs> Do you mean in the world? Because if you only have £39 in the world, then really don't buy Factorio. Yeah, you should food. food. Alan, HM just subscribe to Twitch Prime. Dan, are you ready to release your very angry box of locked away Doctor Who sorting? Oh, please, not on the stream, please. It's all I've heard. No, you haven't. I've suppressed so much of yeah, my I angry Doctor Who thoughts. Job. Well, it's leaking. The box is leaking. There's a lot of anger in there. Every conversation we have, you bring up Doctor Who and how angry you are. Well, I'm very angry at Doctor Who, so let's just not. Let's just not. Let's have a good stream, yeah? That's where you gain some speed by not jumping there. Can you change the ghost to the gold ghost? Let's see if I can pick the gold. Ooh, Dirk McBlack just asked Anna Lee what's the best part about being a trucker. I also am interested in this. Well, Anna Lee's currently got a truck full of Lego. <laughs> <laughs> that actually won't be coming to my house. <laughs> <laughs> Did we order a truck with Lego again today? Not today. Okay. Uh, Crasher Craft 3434. I have 1,763 hours on Fallout 4 for PC just because of Dan. Thanks. I'm so sorry. It's a good way to spend that time. Is it all building levels? Because that's all mine is. Cock. Mm. Hang on, I gotta check my phone for a second. Maybe Bender stopped looking through his glasses or whatever the fuck Bender's doing. Ooh, the Potato Space, bleh, the potato space Man says, Dan, each rainbow medal you get, I will donate 100 twiddlies worth for your money. Really? <laughs> Anybody else wants to get in on that? I'm totally gonna go get some rainbow medals. <laughs> oh god, they're really, really hard. <laughs> Anybody else even think I can get rainbow medals? I don't think I can get rainbow medals. Please, Pixels in Space, don't donate to Adelie's and ask Doctor Who questions, because then I feel like I have to ask You have to ask the Doctor Who questions. Thoughts on them killing Missy, Dan? They didn't, because the master never dies. It's just another end. There's no point in killing... It's like where it's like I all thoughts on Superman dying. Well, Superman's not going to die, is he? Why? Nobody dies oh. in comic books. Nobody dies in Doctor Who. I'm genuinely going to go. I don't think I can actually get Rainbow Medal on the first level because it's absolutely vicious. There's a jump there. Which I'm currently far behind. Jump just there and a slide. Jump just there. A perfect jump just there. It's going to take hours. Yes. The awesome Fletcher just said, "Sure, I'll donate for rainbow medals with a hundred, hundred twiddlies. Thank you so much." Right. And Nelly Ann, I finally have my computer back from being fixed, and I finally got stuff in the Steam sale. Everything I've purchased this time is because of you, Dan. Thanks. Mm. So not really. That's good. Thank you. I like. This is what I do. I like to promote cool shit, and I think Action Hank is today's cool shit to promote. Oh, Dan, what was your opinion on Flushed Away? That's a dated question. <laughs> but I'll answer it. <laughs> I think it, the actual, the, the style of, it was a weird thing because we found out that the style of Ardman wasn't what made Ardman, it was actually the Play-Doh. The, the Play mm. Like without the, everything being super smooth and not having all the lovely fingerprints all over it just looked wrong. It, it didn't look touched. Thank you for your apologies, Pickles on Space. I didn't like Pushed Away. That's sad. 
Mm. I like how I'm trying. I'm thinking I'm gonna gain time over the rainbow medal at some point. Not gonna happen. Yes. I read a question, but then it went, and then I didn't know if it was there. I think somebody asked you, "What's your thoughts on Captain Scarlet?" Captain Scarlet. <laughs> He's my hero. I'm gonna take pollution down to zero, and it's Captain. I Scarlet. love Captain Scarlet. I only remember the theme song of Captain Scarlet, but I'm assuming if it was in the Thunderbirds mold, I would have loved it as a child. I remember having like videos of it. It was on a lot more than Thunderbirds. I was fair, and so I used to watch it more. Yeah. The theme song was definitely on more. Oh, Rebecca, someone needs your help. Rebecca, my parents are moving. Yes, I read that comment and it wasn't worded in the best way and I didn't really know what to make of it. My parents are moving and getting rid of your dog. I don't really know what that means. Which is why I didn't read it. Because I didn't really know how to respond to it. Because, like... Dog talk emojis. See, they would be great here. Ow. Like, if someone sent me a message going... I'm getting rid of my baby. I'd be a bit like, oh, okay. It's <laughs> okay. You know. I was supposed to say, you got me bit with the Star Trek Online. Whoops, sorry. Opinions on Wallace and Gromit. I love Wallace and Gromit so much. I know that probably wasn't directed at me, but oh. I too love Wallace and Gromit. <sighs> I had so much Wallace and Gromit stuff when I was younger. You still got it? I made you a wear rabbit. You did. <laughs> One day we'll find it. They're putting your... See, this is why I didn't read the comment, because that just doesn't... It's not great, is it? Can you not take your dog instead? Can Because, like... You know... Pets yep. should be members of the family. Yep. You wouldn't just abandon a member of the family. Yeah, and if you would, you'd, you'd all, like, go to jail for it. Then again, I was right about that. Novel. If you, like, abandon, like, a child, go to jail for it, surely. Do you? Do you know what? Now I'm saying that, I don't even know if you would. I assume if you, you were just go, like, here's yeah. a ten-year-old, I'm just going to leave it somewhere. You'd probably get in trouble. As you know. That's why I never go to the people like just abandon babies. Like, isn't that shit on the record somewhere? It's this, it's this jump here that I can't get right. That, fine. This, I fuck up sometimes. My landlord doesn't allow dogs. Well, get any landlord. Yeah. Too, too, like I see. Stop. All right, what do I you would like. I obviously there's there's nothing. Right there. There's no situation that would ever make me get rid of. They make me not spend every second of my day with Rick. And I know that's partly coming from how lucky I've been, but you know, okay. it's just like I, like you would do anything to make sure that you don't have to just suddenly get rid of your child that you loved. It would be the same with obviously us and Reagan and Matilda. Mm -hmm. I can't beat that guy on that, but he did that so well, that jump. I think I've got him matched pretty much everywhere else. Except there, I jumped too high there. Oh, 75 Horrors. For a long time it was illegal to leave a dog in a hot car, but not a baby. That's interesting, until someone realised a few years back and changed the law. That's very interesting, thank you. I like finding out things like that. That's very interesting. Anything anti-baby. What is this game? This game is called Action Hank. It is a time-beating platformer precision perfect oh god i've cocked up again i'm currently trying to race for a rainbow medal which is the super rarest of all medals that was nice though Ooh, that might be my own time is the thing annalise says rebecca not having the boss is the best thing the seeing the site is overrated since i see everything at 63, 63 mile per hour i do post interesting pics on my twitter annalise uh, oh it's spelled differently it's spelled differently than your username well, if people are interested and they have a Twitter, shall I post pictures? I'll follow you if you give me a chocolate Lego. <laughs> Sound like you said a chocolate Lego. No chocolate Lego. No deal. Truckload of Lego. Oh, I'll write that down. oh no, I missed that comment. Can you? Oh, you can't get. Oh. Yeah, right. Fine. Oh, fine. We'll throw this run there. Where? Lenny Games Co. Hello, Dan. I complete anti-chamber emphasis on the inverted commas. Now time to play the Stanley Stanley Parable. Any chamber can be completed. Oh. I'll give it 60 FPS and it's gone, I can't play it. Yeah. Overflow sub, thank you very much. Eternal Shadowbane just subscribes to Twitch Prime. Ooh. I go, 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 go. I just, I can't beat him on this foot. It's, I don't know what he did. But, oh god. Thank there you. you go. Thank you. Chat was in the wrong place. Reset. Give me 60, give me 60, give me 60. There we go. 
Uh, Rebecca, I'm sorry, I really need to ask Dan, what do you think of what they did to Bill? Oh, pixels in space! All right. To Bill in the last answer. episode, all the way from her not, see not seeing her as Cyberman and her meeting the girl with the star thing in her eye. Pixels in right. space! All right, here we go. Uh, as long as everybody shouts yes after her ramp, then you're going to get my why Bill is the second worst companion of all time ramp. But has potential. No. Who's had that? No, but has she, potential. I also bet money now. I will bet all the Twiddlies donated to me that she appears in some form in a Christmas special. Hey guys, Rebecca, could you please ask Dan where he got his long back coat from? Uh, what long back coat? <laughs> my tenant and thingy ones. Uh, Daniel has a long brown. Everyone wants to know run. He's got a long brown uh, tenant coat and he's got Captain Jack coat, which is like a real grey blue colour. I doubt it. Yeah. And uh, I don't want to copy one. Where were they from? Abbey Shop. It's a website that makes beautiful replicas of famous coats. And when I say like, they're not just like cosplay replicas, they are actual coats. There we go! Oh, I thought I had him. I held that down just a little bit too much at the bottom. Everyone desperately wants a Doctor Who man. Alright, does anybody agree with me that Bill is the second most companion of all time? Because you probably don't, but I'm here to change your fucking minds while playing this one level over and over again because I want to get a rainbow medal. All those are probably the hardest levels to get. Oh, it's a Fuck this level. Malinette says, make it a Patreon post. I was going like to. I was going to do that, but I figured. I'd rather talk about Rick and Morty next week. People saying the worst have clearly forgotten that Clara existed. Oh yeah, Clara's the worst. <laughs> like, we're not getting away from that. Clara made Doctor Who really a miserable experience for everyone. You can go, ooh, she was deep and whatever. Oh, it. Wow, I was actually keeping her up with the rainbow medal until this last week, so I got that bit up. Down here, much longer level. Oh, if I can get that jump, maybe I can beat him. I'm sorry to people in chat who don't watch Doctor Who. Why the fuck don't you, man? Why the fuck don't you? <laughs> I swear, she's the only person I've got being gay on almost every other sentence. Right, I'd like to point this out. Rebecca. Yes, hello. While watching that final episode, when Bill brought up the fact she was gay again, did you roll your eyes, look at me and go, what the fuck? <laughs> it was just so weird, like... <laughs> I just, that was such a weird statement. I don't understand. Yeah. Oh, Ro Mackenzie, hello from the high. Not fast. Hello. Yeah. So, um. Yeah. <laughs> like, even Rebecca was like, that seems a little on the Like, it's. <laughs> it was, it wasn't great. She actually, in over half of the episode, she mentioned she was gay, which is not what you want a gay character to do. And then she was like 15 and just sort of was being out and proud, then yeah. I can totally see her mentioning it every five seconds. But at the age she is, yeah, it just was weird and out of place. Uh, so, Bill, Bill's final episode. Well, you know, I've been okay with Bill. I haven't watched a lot of this series because I don't like Capaldi. I don't know, Sin, whatever. I don't like it. I like, actually, no, that's a lie. I like Peter Capaldi. I don't like the 12th Doctor even slightly. I think he's a, just a miserable experience and he's just boring. You can go, oh, but he's like the older ones. Yeah, well, we got better than that. Oh, oh Overflow just subbed because they got a job. Congratulations. Yeah, we work it. I bet we sound weird. You collect seeds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay, back to Dr. Huron. Back to Dr. Huron. So, Bill's... The, the, a companion gets, in their last episode, gets a final test. That's kind of what they do. So, Rose's final test was when she came back and she did some random shit and stuff. Martha had the... Martha's my favourite companion because she passed her, fly, her final test with flying colours. She took a year out of her life in a hostile environment, being constantly chased down, used her wits and her things, and did what the Doctor said, but to a perfect degree. She was a flawless companion. That's why Martha is the best companion. We've got... Who was after Martha? Was it Donna straight? Yeah, because Rose got two series. So then we have Donna. And Donna's final test was a big clusterfuck. <laughs> and then she just kind of got forgotten. So we'll ignore Donna. I kind of like Donna, but I don't think she was... I like Donna. She didn't have a lot done for the end. Uh, who was after Donna? Amy had uh, her final test with the Weeping Angels. And she sacrificed adventures with the Doctor to be with War... Warwy. To be with Warwy. To be with Rory. 
And that's correct, that's what her character was all about. So she didn't go, I'm gonna be the hero here. She was like, I'm gonna save the day, but I'm gonna sacrifice myself for it. She came off right in the end, but she also did. She wanted to be with Rory more than she wanted Adventures with the Doctor. Nice close to her character arc. Clara just had 15 final tests, all of which were annoying. She was an absolute clusterfuck of a character. She made no sense. She's tied to the weakest Doctor. She made the weakest Doctor weaker. She's a mess. I don't care. And then Bill's final test came up. So Bill kind of got a bit of a... a back foot on our final test because she was given 10 fucking years. She is in a place where there's Cybermen happening. Clearly some dodgy shit going on. People in pain and they're turning it down. And she sits there and does nothing for 10 years. Ten, even in the episode it's said to be 10 years where she sits there and does nothing. Like, even if you told any other companion you can't leave the hospital, the first thing all of them would do without fail would be leave the hospital and try and work out how far they can be pushed and then try and work out a way of doing it and try and solve what's going on and why there are people in pain. But no, for a decade, a decade, Bill sat there and did nothing. She did absolutely nothing for an entire decade, which is awful. That's spectacularly awful. And then, no, she ha so she then gets cyber converted and then does lots of dramatic, I'm actually a good Cyberman because I have really strong mental defenses, which earlier in the series was tied into her mum, but now is just, she's just has strong mental defenses, so she wasn't properly cyber converted because of course she wasn't. So then she gets her final, final test, which is there is a spaceship hurtling towards a black hole. Time is being ripped apart. Nardo has been left to die along with a whole bunch of other kids. They went up 500 floors and got two weeks. They end up going five floors and then the doctor's like, you'll be there safe for years. Bollocks, will they? It's getting faster as it goes up. They're going to be completely boned very, very... In fact, the poster behind me says boned. That's how boned they'll be really soon. They're all going to die either falling into a black hole or being cyber converted. They're all just being shot by a cyberman. They are completely fucked. The Doctor goes, I can give them time, but nothing else. They're not all you have to defend them. It's a suicide mission they're on. And then Bill is given fucking magic space immortality. And I'm going to ignore here the point that the entire pilot episode was about the fact that that pilot couldn't get on the TARDIS. It couldn't get teleport onto the TARDIS. Yeah, can't lock onto the TARDIS. Nothing can teleport into the TARDIS. In this episode, nah, it just gets on the TARDIS now. Fuck it. We'll ignore that for now. Bill is given... That was a really good time. Uh, Bill is given immortality, and she's given, basically, she can go anywhere and do anything. And the first thing that she does is she goes, ah, fuck it, I'm gonna go and just be with this thing. We're gonna go and explore the universe. The final end of that, the end of that episode should have been Bill going back, picking everyone up, dumping them in the TARDIS, flipping the TARDIS somewhere. She should have saved everyone, because she had the ability. She learnt nothing being in the TARDIS. The Doctor's speech about always be kind. Now that she cut her losses and ran. She just left. She was like, now nah, that's no point. I'm going to go get some of that lesbian action from somebody that I met once and kind of fancied a bit. Bill failed her test, and I've never seen a companion fail their test before in new or classic Who. And fuck Bill, basically. Just fuck Bill. Yeah, that's my Bill around. There we go. She got immortality, and her way of repaying the Doctor was to just fuck off. She didn't listen to him. She didn't learn. Every other person... Rose Tyler, Defender of Earth. Martha joins Unit. Amy, well, Amy just, you know, gets lost in parallel universe or whatever. Donna forgets everything. We can forget Donna. Clara died trying to be the Doctor. And Bill just went, ah, fuck it. Something better's come along. She's a greedy cunt. Fuck Bill. In the end. <sighs> oh, I feel good to get out of my system. Right. Hi, Rebecca. Hi. So, uh, that was my Bill rant. I'm not going to rant about the rest of the episode because it's terrible. But it made me hate Bill, so... Who was your favourite Star Trek captain? Oh, Captain? Yeah. Well, that means I can't pick Cisco, so that means I have to pick the card. Because I pick Cisco before the card. Because I'm a, I'm, I'm like that. I like Cisco. Cisco, Cisco got the bum deal and did so much with it. And it was great. But Picard is the, Picard is just the complete everything of the Federation. He is the poster boy of the Federation, and he's beautiful because of it. That guy beats me on the thing. When do you start to slide, like, as it's going down the thing? I like okay. Kurt because the fanfiction's good. 
Sometimes, sometimes you say time. things. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore them. Okay. It's better for my mental health. Jump too high. I jump 15 times there. Uh, Cisco was the captain of the last few series. He was, but he wasn't a cat. He was a captain of the Defiant. He wasn't captain of, you know, he wasn't. When you think of the captain, I mean, he was one of the captains. It's not like Janeway. And ja you know what? When they put the pedal down on Janeway, Janeway didn't break. I like Janeway when she's put under pressure. It's just my problem with Voyager is the whole series didn't put Janeway under enough pressure, and it should have been a pub. It should have Voyager should have been like like the Battlestar Galactica remake. That's what it should have been. James and Squirrel, you'll never see my Doctor Who scripts. Just like them specifically. Yeah, you are. Everybody else I'm going to give them Specifically them. James. <laughs> oh, what out. I like that laugh you do. Rebecca knows everything about my Doctor Who scripts anyway, so... I really like it. I think that Dan should be writing Doctor Who. It would be much better than it's been for quite a number of years. <laughs> like, I, don't, I have an entire 13-part series planned and ready to go. But that's fine, you know, it's fine. What about David Bradley as the first Doctor in the episode? The literally the first thing I ever heard about this series was the first Doctor was going to appear. Uh, the, it was the the Doctor is working at a university and has uh, the first Doctor in the basement. That was the rumor that someone put him in. I was like, that's dumb. And then for the whole thing, loads of people have been saying that. I'm like, oh, okay. And then he just turns up. But for some reason, yeah, Capaldi's Doctor went onto his fifteenth different personality type and went. Actually, no, I don't want to regenerate now. I just want to die. So that it's going to be two grumpy old men realizing that life goes on, and I have to adapt. I'm sorry, I don't care. I don't give a shit. Actually, actually, when this series started, I actually took the piss. I was like, imagine if she brings back the first Doctor and a, and redoes a Christmas Carol with a ghost of Christmas past, ghost of Christmas present, and then the new Doctor's ghost of Christmas future. Now you might just be doing that. Boost and go, and boost and go, boost and go. Ow. Janeway was great, but which is not good enough. Yeah, Janeway in episodes like Year of Hell, where they just, for a year, kicked the shit out of her across two hours, was amazing. And that's like, you get that little glimpse of the Janeway that you really want to see there. That's just terrible. What was I even doing there? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I still haven't seen Baby Driver. I still haven't seen Baby Driver. I know. Well, it's been the weekend and kids. <laughs> so. <laughs> um. If Dan could have an official Lego kit of any Star Trek ship, which one would it be and why? Ask Soul. It That's would it be... Okay, right. I'd be cheeky. I'd build the Galaxy Class from, you know, Picard's Galaxy Class, but it would have an optional third nacelle to add to it, so it could be the Galaxy Class from the final episode. I've been reading out your comments over the floor, thank you very much. <laughs> Ish, Sen, I've been ignoring you. Yeah, you're not from the subreddit, we don't ignore you. Punch, I'm not here. That's very busy plot. It's the theme of the oh, I don't know, the theme. Corporal Jenkins. Oh, yeah, there's Thunderbird 2 flying around. Somebody said I like Thunderbird 2 flying around. There oh, it goes. That's cute. Oh. Mm -hmm. Corporal Jenkins, why is Baby Driver so good? We haven't seen it yet. Well, it's got a lot of pedigree behind it. In that it's um Oh my god, I was beating that guy. It's got a... Um, it's directed by Edgar Wright, who is my favourite writer-director. And you know what? Sometimes people that I absolutely love, they end up making not so good things. Since it's Stephen Moffat, who I will always love. I don't really care for his 12th Doctor. I love his 11th Doctor, I don't care for his 12th. Farless816, who's Dan's favourite medical officer? Medical officer? Mm-hmm. For the EMH. <laughs> That's not even... Why would you even bother to quote? Like, you've got, like, slim fucking pickings there. But it's going to be EMF or Bashir. Shit, I always forget about Bashir. Oh, you're going to love Bashir when you watch this first time. You're genuinely going to love Bashir. I... The... Oh, fuck. They do a lot more with Bashir, but the EMH is a much more classic character. But only because he adds the levity that Voyager so desperately needed. Actually, maybe he would have booked better on Deep Space Nine. Lenny Games Call. I like that they had Capaldi's Doctor refusing to change when it was Hartnell who originally refused to change and this regeneration exists. Yeah, the, the problem is we've come off of... Oh, fuck, I'm going into it again. My issue with the 12th Doctor is that he came off of 900 years of sitting on one planet defending a small bunch of humans because it was the right thing to do, and he sat there for 900 years and started to die of old age. That was... 
That was the 11th Doctor. And then when his death came, he accepted it. He went, I'm going to be someone else now. This was a great time. I love this time. And I can't wait for the next one. And then Capaldi is just a whingy cunt who hates humans. And I don't understand how I'm supposed to follow that as a character. That's not a character arc. It's a character reset. I know the new Doctor always brings something else to it. But I feel like there's there's the nuances of the old Doctor in Capaldi. But there's none of the heart or growth of the previous Doctors. He feels like a total reset. Which... You know, not beating that guy on this turn. Longer levels are actually easier to rainbow battle because there's more chance to catch up. There's also more chance to make mistakes. Doing that one too early. Chris McCon, hey Dan, will you ever play more of The Sims 3 or 4? But we'll just pretend that it says The Sims 3. Okay, just The Sims 3. <laughs> I must probably listen to the The Sims 4. Isn't that the one where I left everybody in the house and just let them live and then see what happened? I actually genuinely didn't watch it because I really had so small. That got picked up on like news networks and shit. Or gaming news networks, they're not real news. White Sonic 5748. Uh, thanks, Dan. I got Hinge, folks, and play an old Battleground. Yeah. Have fun. Kellen. Question What time is it over there in the UK? It's currently 1.40p. You pay 200 twiddlies to ask what time it is? <laughs> yeah, if he's in Australia, then that's just Google. It's the cost it's of using Google. 140 where they are. It is. What time is that? I don't know what it is. Half past eight or something by now? Yes, it's 29. It's 20 to 9. Thank you for your Oh, yeah. I feel like Google Just in future is a nice cheap alternative. We're in the UK. Do, 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 do. He's ahead of me. He gets ahead of me so quickly. There. Is that good? Abs Cassidy asks, when are you streaming Fast and Light next? For now. I'm not like most streamers, I don't really have a plan, I kind of, I stream like I do YouTube videos with, I'll do what I want to do on the day. Pixels in space, on my flight to Mexico I get to watch Baby Driver and the new Spider-Man hopefully on the plane. How is the soundtrack? Heard it's really good. Oh, I've been listening to the soundtrack non-stop. It's so good. It's not, it's not like the sort of shit you'd normally hear in a soundtrack as well. It's properly, it's just like, you're like, well that's just a good song. Oh, I've just realised how he's getting an extra bit of speed there. Oh, Kelly got a new badge for that, for that oh. comment. Okay, fair enough then. Nice. What Go time? <laughs> Fleming Getty, what time is it in Singapore? I don't know. Just Google and make some quick money. <laughs> Anybody else got any money related questions? Is anyone in chat from Singapore? Uh, what time is it where you are? God damn this level. Sorry, I, I don't want to stick on a level too long even though I'm learning them as I go. I can't find a level here somewhere even. Chernobyl Child asks, favourite movie soundtracks? I'm going to go for Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. That's a great soundtrack. It's so good. I've got, I've got enough two seconds of my time for this level. Um. Ooh, that was jump. Okay. I don't know, because I like Disney films, so I mean, like, they're all really good. I really like the soundtrack from um, Natural Born Killers, though. It's got Leonard Cohen on his own. Oh, it's 3.40 in Singapore. Thank you very much, Victor Held. Victor Held. Victor Held. What did he held? Thank you. Hmm? Thank you. Very welcome, what did he held? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Mulan soundtrack is the best thing. Oh, I don't know, so I'll tell you what, it's a bad soundtrack. A bad soundtrack. It's bad soundtrack. Dan denies it and he's wrong. What on earth is going on with Gatsby? Oh, it's a great soundtrack. Stop. Great they had the best, they had like one of the best eras of music ever. And then, was it dubstep or something? Like, what was that? Yeah, dubstep r and It's a great soundtrack. It's the it's, worst thing. It's... I'm not having this argument with you again, because you're... Right, it's the right. worst thing. Am I right? Is that the reason? I mean... Oh my god. Oh my god. It makes me so angry. Oh, he's getting extra speed up there. Oh my god, this is a tricky one to get a rainbow on. So I'll dry as Darius oh. Dan. I want to start watching Doctor Who, but I don't know where to start. By the way, I live in America. Good for you. It's probably on Netflix. Uh, yeah, is it on American Netflix? Because I would start with the earliest thing that I've got there. Yeah, start with The Ninth Doctor when it came back in 2005. Chris Freckleston. It depends what kind of thing you're looking for, because I mean that's a good place to start if you like more current TV. But if you are it's old hard like to we get are, hold then of the older stuff. yeah. But if you can, it's not, to be honest, a lot of it's just online. It's not on Netflix. It got taken off. Oh, that's rubbish. They just took a few dramas, didn't they? 
It's a big deal, but... Oh, Annalie, Dan, how do you find the input lag in Planet Costa? I have 16 gig RAM laptop and the lag makes it unplayable. You're, you're playing on a laptop. I don't know. Enough. I don't know. I don't have any lag in Planet Costa. It's very CPU heavy. Oh, it's on it's on Prime Video. Sorry, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, Doctor Who's on Prime Video apparently. So you actually buy it all. Oh, may as well just buy the DVDs. It'd probably be cheaper. Mm. Uh, easy peasy, easy peasy. I think that's the one I just did. Boing, Come for boing. I decided. You guys, I watched Psych. I like Psych. I don't know what that is. I haven't watched it for a long time. It's a TV show. Dan, Rebecca, do you ever get annoyed at repetitive questions? Uh, I mean, there. questions that we answer quite regularly. I don't mind because I get that some people will have missed them. Apart from like every single day, who stands for a doctor? And oh, what's the question for every day? Some questions just get every single day. How did that guy get ahead of me? That's not one of them. <laughs> People spamming the same question over and over in chat. Like, I, you need to keep posting it because I will miss it and I do want to read it. But sometimes people. Sometimes it's just like really overkill. Especially when they start putting capitals in it because I've missed it. It's like I didn't miss it on purpose. The capitals. It sounds now like I'm yelled at. Now I'm missing it on purpose. <laughs> the capitals are necessary. <laughs> I've already answered, yeah, okay, uh, or everyone's pointing out Dan, that your question. Yeah, I get asked that every day. I also get asked what we have for breakfast. But I feel like they're, like, relevant to the day questions, whereas who's your favourite doctor? It's not going to change from yesterday. It's definitely not from yesterday. So I, I certainly don't mind those questions. I don't mind, like, time-specific questions. I'm enjoying I mean, William Hartnell, though. Oh, me too. But yes, I, I'm, I don't mind. Um, if you're looking for a TV series you can't find legitimately, I recommend Daily Motion. It won't fill your computer with viruses and it's like YouTube, but illegal. <laughs> we don't recommend. Yeah, Daily we Motion don't. We don't do that. <laughs> that's just that's just Roe McKenzie. It's another new those. Yeah, you will actually look at videos, videos, videos. Dot bum, dot bum. I tried. Dot, dot, bum. What do you both think of the Switch? I think it's shit. I think it's the most uncomfortable games console I own. Yeah. Like, I like oh, the controller time. as a controller, like in the little controller I base. I, I find that really comfortable. I, I, I've i got, like, I've got small hands and that fits really nicely in my hands and I really like it. Oh, thanks for the donation team of death. That's very kind. Um, yeah, I, just, I find that really comfortable. But then if I plug it into the TV, there's like this like day long delay on it. And I'm like, really, is this necessary? And it's frustrating. Just yes, it is. bad. Um, but actually holding it as a console is just uncomfortable. As a handheld, it's just I, really, I really uncomfortable. Use it, as handheld it doesn't stand properly because it's got that one little... The one little twiddle twat. Yes, it just falls over. If Reagan sits down in the room, it falls over. <laughs> like, that's really irritating. So I have to use my phone stand to prop up my Switch, which is just really irritating. <laughs> but my biggest issue with it is not going to play on it. There's Velva! Don't even. You like Velva? Not even. The best guy I've ever made! It's so bad. <laughs> She'll find you. I like that when I said that I didn't like it, it was bad. Everyone was like, it's just too hard for you. And it's like, oh yeah, that game that I only die for stupid reasons, I haven't died in, like, for a legitimate it's reason. It's not too hard, it's too It's not hard shit. at all. It's the only thing that I've had, so I've played a lot of it. It's just not oh, difficult God. at all. It's that chip stern. It's, it's just... just boring. It's just a really boring Zelda game. Mm -hmm. It's not oh, challenging. Piss, I didn't jump. I was doing so well. The puzzles get hard. I'm yet to have that issue. I've yet to find it. The <laughs> only thing I've got, the only thing that I've found that's even remotely difficult is when you go into a thing and it's like, fucking battle thing. And you have to battle a thing. It just basically is just a weapon strain because of the stupid, shitty weapon degradation. The thing is, we were like, oh, it's like the people that fight you get hard when you get, like, yeah, and the enemies get hard when you go on. But you've got unlimited bombs. Yeah. <laughs> I've, li I've literally just killed everyone with the unlimited bombs that I have, which I, I just, I don't understand how... The enemies get hard as an argument when you've got unlimited bombs. And the puzzles are just... Well, I've actually, unlike you, I've actually got as far as the first dungeon before I gave up catastrophically. Well, I just didn't want to do the dungeon. Because the dungeon was, I think I got through it in like 10 minutes. I was like, what, kidding? It just wasn't dungeoning. Jump. Isn't it? 
Mario Odyssey. It's a great game, probably. I don't know. It's not out yet. It might be out for a while. I think the Switch itself is really nicely made. Holds together well. I just think the controllers with their buttons in the wrong way. Bumps. Bumps don't work on all enemies, and some enemies like need like 500 bumps. Yeah, I found that, so I just stand out of the way. Bumps. I um, found that it's just... I mean, the weapon, it's, cut, it's like, oh, you'll switch your weapons up. I was like, I switch my weapons up in The Witcher all the fucking time because I mm. want to see what weapons are good and I want to see if some, there's a new playstyle fit. Fallout. But switch the thing is that all, all the weapons in the Zelda game are all the fucking same. Yeah. They're all the fucking same. They're just a big, this one, oh, this one bashes a bit slower. Oh, sounds right, Starris. Dan, do you like the Deep Space Nine character Garrick? He's one of my favourite characters in Star Trek. I don't remember him. He's the Cardassian Taylor. Garrick is the best Star Trek character. He is the best Star Trek character. When I think of a good Star Trek character, I immediately think Garrick before anyone else. Garrick is... There is nobody like Garrick in anything ever. And anything that gets anywhere... Any character that gets remotely Garricky is... Best character. I slowed down there, shouldn't have Garrick is magical in every way. I believe he has a line. What was the line he has? I, it's, it's my thing. It's. it's not how I lost it. What's the line? It's. um. Tell, it's not like telling the truth is just an excuse for a poor imagination. That sums up Garrick. Garrick is magical. Yes, I love Garrick. And you never really know what his deal is as well. That's what makes him beautiful. He's like in the middle of our in the second war, and he's like, yeah, well, you know, I'm Garrick. Oh, God. It's my best time on this thing. Oh, that was my best time. Hooray! So I say, can I have a drink, please? I need a quick finger break. Never trust Taylor's. Always trust Taylor's. Mm -mm. Dan, Rebecca, what's your favourite Nintendo franchise? Oh, that's a long drink. Um, probably Metroid. 2D Metroid, I don't like 3D shit. Oh, but 2D Metroids. That was a really good comment, that's a long drink. <laughs> five, sorry. Is it a long drink? Oh, <laughs> I've been practicing. I like Animal Crossing as well, I like but I think Animal that Crossing. a well-crafted Metroid is, like, the pinnacle of really... A absorbing game design. I got to jump early there. I'm, losing all my I'm sorry, I missed your cheese real Nick. If if Dan's talking, expect them to be. Uh, Pixels in space. Dan, all two is on Prime, really cheap. But go season one, then two, then sixteen. Do the DVDs do that? Or do you have more seasons? We've got all of them. Yeah, and also, we have three hundred and something DVDs. And also, can you please give us a link to where you found all the DVDs? Uh, boot sales, CX, car, anywhere, anywhere that we get it. We had printed off lists. It, years, years of work. It's something that you can't just. There is, there are websites that do collect them, and you can buy like the whole lot. But they're kind of because they took ages to release them. They literally released them for like over a decade, I think. They are incomplete. And so you have to buy a few things elsewhere. There's also like special edition variations of ones and also if you Google it sometimes. Or you can yeah, I mean they should have released it all in one go. Actually when I met Steve Muppet, I was one of the things I could say. I said you should release them all in one go. Like a box of everything. Yeah, but then he'd have to care about Doctor Who. That way he never did it. Yep. I think he cares about Doctor Who. I he cares about the wrong bits of Doctor Who. Who's the person eating the donut on the banner? It's Tracy. She's lovely. It's Tracy, yeah. Oh my god, I beat the rainbow medal! And he's winning again. But that was a good few seconds there when I was winning. Bacon Bits, I want to fuck a fucking pirate in the ass. Thank you for your contribution, Bacon Bits. Good luck with that dream. <laughs> Thoughts on 30 oh, Rock? Shit. Gosh, that's a bit dated. I don't like it. 30 so, Rock? Why is that dated? What's 30 Rock? A TV show that was out like 10 years ago. <laughs> 10 years ago? I don't think it's still out. Is it still out? I don't know. What's that? I mean, I heard of 30 Rock. I know Third Rock from the Sun. 30 Rock is TV. Oh my god, there's a TV show. There's definitely a TV show. Oh, I'm, now, I'm now worried that it's not a TV show. Jumped jumped the end bit. What do you think about Smash Brothers? I don't like Smash Brothers. It's just not my. I don't enemy. like it. I just think it's a multiplayer -y thing. I already appreciate <laughs> Someone said no, it's not. Wait, is it not a TV show that was out ten years ago? Or is it not on the TV at the moment? Oh, is it the one that Donald Glover wrote a blah bit of? Yeah, I know. 
Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I gotta be so goddamn perfect with this thing. Oh, that's a new personal best. Only 0.22. I'm not finishing until I get one Rainbow Medal. I think this is the one. My hand's getting a bit weird, so it's fine. Len923. By the way, Dan, thanks for the Taskmaster recommendation. I'm slowly getting into the latest season. It's so good. Slowly. Watch just it. stop watching this. Go watch it. It's better. Oh, well, well, well. That's it. You can watch that anytime. Live streams of rare occurrences. Go watch, go watch that. It's really good. You should watch that. Dan, which Star Trek should I start with? Uh, well, I always say Next Generation. Because I think the Next Generation... You don't need anything else to watch Next Generation, but you kind of need a bit of Next Generation knowledge to watch Deep Space Nine. I mean, it literally starts off of an episode of Next Generation. And you can only watch all just the films first, because they need knowledge of Next Generation episodes as well. Getting that turn just right. We'll jump there. Yeah, a little bit ahead. Killer Granny 100. Dan, how many different projects are you writing at the moment? <laughs> ah, I pushed back. Ah, oh, I pushed back. Oh, so close. Um, Ooh. a few. Delonious. Sorry, we'll come back to it. Delonious. Wreck, you have to. An you have to answer. What is Dan's favorite TARDIS console? Dan can decide the penalty for an incorrect answer. I think Dan likes Matt Smith. Correct. Which one though? He got two. Oh, I don't know. I didn't watch it. He had, well, his first one or the one that Cavalli has at the moment? Oh, the first one. Okay, <laughs> um, Done. I like the first one. As in the white stuff. The white stuff. The white stuff. I like um, that was one. Because he actually like uses it and it's twiddly and he's really into it. Yeah, like a lot of actual TARDIS action. I think Eccleston like and Tenant have a lot of TARDIS action. The TARDIS, I, feel I like, like how nice it is and I like how sometimes an entire wall is just a sheet and it's satisfying, I like it. I feel like since Capaldi took over, there's, there's no TARDIS action. Like an episode would begin or end in the TARDIS for every other Doctor and then you've got Capaldi's one where it's just, the TARDIS is just the tall. And I feel like the, the magic of the TARDIS really left. And I feel like you don't want to get rid of the magic of the TARDIS. Rebecca, what do you Oh, think? look at that! Oh. Hands going numb. <laughs> Rebecca, what do you think about Amy and Rory? I hate Okay, yeah. Them okay, yeah. You, let's not get into it. So much. Load. It's like every marriage has to have issues. I thought I issues with Scott Golden. Look, that film's genius. You should watch it with somebody who, like, you'll see the love in I my couldn't eyes. Couldn't watch it. You'll see the love in my eyes, and you'll be like, "Oh wait, no shit. This is a, I can see why this is a really good film." Real Nick B Dan, not a question, but just wanted to say thanks. Gone through some really rough times of depression, and your videos always put a smile on my face. Thanks, dude. Keep up the good work. I will, and I'm gonna do more work and more work. Because otherwise, I would have nothing to do like today. I just didn't do anything, and I go, "Ugh, what's the point?" This was pretty Twilight Scott program. I Twilight Scott program, but before I like sort of met Dan, I only knew one person who did actually like Scott program, and everyone else thought that it was just trash. Yeah, but and the one person that liked it was honestly the most annoying person I've ever met in my entire life. But um, of all the people you knew, I mean, seriously. Yeah, so I like, I just I thought that it was a thing mainly rejected by people for being trash. So it's really weird that Dan's so totally into it. This is like. It's editing Ew. porn, it's directing porn. It's a neat take on the standard rom com story. Anna Lee, Dan, do you think YouTube will recover from the cesspool it is right now? Oh, no. Jesus <laughs> Christ, <laughs> I think we're on Twitch. Twitch is now a nice consistent. Twitch makes me feel better. Overflow, oh, hey Dan, do you think you'll ever play the papers, please, again? What are you pointing? Little um, asterisks like that. It made it seem like it was an action. <laughs> That's how I read it. It was really weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, well, actually, will you play Papers, Please? Because it was really like you had to say it all out. I don't know. Maybe. I think we might have a. I was thinking about this idea the other day. We mm -hmm. might have a monthly special long ass stream. I've got to ride that speed a little bit. Maybe. Like a monthly stream where everything's a little bit more. We do a longer stream. Oh. Once a month. It's like a crazy long stream. We play many games. K 
Killer Lizard, Scott Pilgrim is the best and you should have this twin before I go spend more money at RTX in a couple of days. Have fun! Fun! <laughs> Becca, do you know the band? Bring me on the horizon. I do, not my thing. Um. Oh my god, Delonius is asking us if we ever get in a very pair of questions. Thank you. Since you're playing sale games from Steam, Ooh, will we be happen. seeing Axiom Verge? That's another question we're getting daily at the moment. I haven't even played the fucking thing. <laughs> I might just do a video on it at this point, because everyone wants to see it a stream, and I always prefer doing videos. But um, in my comedy too, remember when I used to do comedy? <laughs> but that rang it down. Do you think of a fanny? I think it's funny. That's just an example of my comedy. Oh my god. People still think that you skip all of the videos. I love people say that. It's my favourite thing. I'm like, seriously, if that's good for me, it would be way better. I, I find it annoying because I've said, like, I was like, oh, no, it's new, just, just, just talk to me, records it. And then people will go, no, actually, I think you'll find it in scripted. It's like, oh, shit, do I, do I? <laughs> like, yeah, I totally lie about this. That's why I did for hobby. What's the advantage of that? Like, I have no idea. If someone asks a question, I answer it honestly. If I, oh, well, if I give them time to like, think about a joke, I'm just better <laughs> in every single way. James Squirrel, I got twiddlies just to say beep beep, I'm a sheep. Beep beep, I'm a sheep. I said beep beep, I'm a sheep. Everybody now! I must have chat room for a few minutes. I'm gonna... Dara Beck, who's your favourite doctor from Old Who? I don't want to answer that because I don't feel like I've seen enough of Old William Who. William Hartnell. Re I really, really love so William Hartnell. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> but I haven't seen enough to answer that question properly. I like older doctors though. I don't want to watch kids running about. I like things. younger doctors that act old. Oh my god. Eccleston never really did that. He was just sort I of. I really like Eccleston. He just felt sort of like a middle agedy kind of doctor. I really liked it. I never need another middle agedy doctor. Cough, Adrian Lester, cough, the greatest doctor choice of them all. Oh, Dirk McBlack asks Dan, how's your back doing? Hope you're doing better. That's very much considerate better. comment. Thank you. Much better. Thank you very much. Unless that we'll, we'll play for Doctor at some point. If I have a Ron Doctor Who, I have any say in Doctor Who. If we have the might just forget one day. Then Adrian Lester will be the Doctor. Spoilers there, but he's going to be the Doctor. He's so perfect. He's literally perfect to play the Doctor. Keller, Dan, what are your thoughts on that drunken robot pornography game? Is it hard? I thought it looked fun in my buyer. <gasps> Oh, I didn't get it. I was on the time. I didn't beat the time. Oh, Motherfucker. So <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Now we're going again. We're doing this. I'm in the zone. Oh, just cool as well. Thank you so much. Just found out I got a first at university in software engineering. Congratulations! Hey. And have a career in that area. Decided to spend to spread the happiness. Thank you so much and congratulations. Get you with your oh. education. That's useful. Well done. So so wait. So so what what do you want to what do you what do you want to program? Do you have is, do you have like a, a thing that you want to do? Do you want to make games? Do you want to do like? If you want to game ideas? Hit me up. Or do you want to make arcade machines? I know that's really specific. But it's a, fun. Give you a design. <laughs> Rebecca, how are you doing today? I feel like no one asks you. Thank you much, very much, Red Zombie. I'm okay. I didn't have the best day, but I'm doing okay. Oh. Rebecca, do you like Panic at the Discord Paramount? God, no. That no. So much no. Sorry. So not my thing at all. I don't really do pop things. Pop. Yeah, it's like, like, like angsty pop. I can't. I can't. Um, we've answered two of these questions. We answered who your favourite Doctor from all two is, and we also answered which Star Trek should I start with. We've answered these. Pay attention, people. Uh, what do you think about Richard Ayoade as a Doctor? I just want Richard Ayoade to do everything No, 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 no. I made that work. I'm perfectly honest, watching him in the Mighty Bush, it just makes me think no even more. 
Oh, I love him too. He's a great comedy character. And literally nothing else. He doesn't have the weight necessary to play the Doctor. But someone like um, Adrian Lester, I mean, oh he, he's got, like, the charisma, the charm. He's, you know, he has success. He had a successful BBC show for eight years. A show that started to flop when he wasn't on it, so definitely was liked by the people. Uh, his his Shakespeare work is unparalleled. He's won, I believe, he's won tons of awards and stuff, and definitely huge amounts of critical acclaim for his work in the uh, in Hamlet. And he can play the heavier stuff. He can do the light stuff. It's like he's an all-round perfect actor. Season trained, knows how to do the press rounds. Literally looks fantastic. I literally would be the best doctor ever. I didn't call my chemical romance angsty pop, although it's totally angsty pop. I called Paramore and. Um... Panic at the Disco Angsty Pop. But yeah, my my phone is totally angsty pop. Is it not? I don't understand all of these groups, but I, that's what I would consider that to be. Could you imagine, right? Adrian mm -hmm. Lester's the doctor. Oh my goodness, we're still on this, yes? Yeah. Yes. With with Edgar Wright being allowed to write and direct an episode. That would be amazing, yes, I'm on board. Who was the companion being? Edgar Wright was the person that I don't know shit, is this actually known? I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Edgar Wright was the person that the BBC was looking for to take over Doctor Who and to run Doctor Who. I believe when it was coming back, Edgar Wright was the first name in the hat before Arthur Davis, but Edgar Wright was busy doing the uh, Clementa film. Who would be the companion? Adrian Lester. With Adrian Lester. Oh, I can't remember her name. You'll have to look it up for me. Yeah, in the series that I write, it's a very specific person because I have a very specific cast. So who, 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 who is she? Who is she? Uh, from the film About Time, she plays the sister, like I wrote the sister's name is either. But she has this, she's the exact character that I need for that series, I mean, she's a one series companion. Spoilers for 2024's Doctor Who series! What's the sister called? I didn't know her name because I've never seen this from. I can't remember her name. It can probably be the second girl character. No. Kit Kat. Kit Kat! Lydia Wilson. Lydia Wilson! That's the one. What else is she in? She, 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 oh, she's in Star Trek Beyond. Oh! She is. But oh, I, I think she is, uh, so she's got, yeah, been picked up in places. Oh, she's Ooh. like rom-com. Yep, and she's exactly one of Her role as Kit Kat is really, really nice. She does a super good job in that. Also, I'd be rooting for Richard Kurtz back in that episode. But yeah, it'll be Adrian Lester and Lydia Wood. It'll be my uh, dream team. My computer going, I've not heard of them. That means it's going to be a good show. Yeah, I'll stop putting my dream team in. My dream dog show. Boosting of that end bit is faster. Anyway, uh, questions that aren't Doctor Who based. We'll be going through now. <laughs> we need, we got lots of questions, lots of questions for time, and I'm not supposed to be answering questions about me. <laughs> Rebecca, where'd you get your program ideas from? Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> right, me and Rebecca are literally the perfect team when it comes to making games. I swear it's fine, they're in but We are literally the perfect team when it comes to games, because Rebecca has literally no ideas of her own, and I have no skill of my own, but together, so you've got the skill, I've got the ideas, boom. We are a game making force to be reckoned with. <laughs> -vo 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 -vo. Hello. I've been thinking of a question for like 10 minutes, came up with nothing. Have the bits regardless. I love that tiny little smiley face. That's so cute. And thank you so oh, much for the oh, 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 it can be done. You can get over that top bit. You can. Oh, that's exactly where I jumped to hit that. Because if I can jump off there and then do a little hop, I might be able to do that. I might be able to gain the time back and get a nice good score. Oh, that makes me feel really sickly. Yeah, Woody plays games. It. Back from watching Baby Driver, it's amazing, as everyone already knows. Thank you. On the cusp of it. I should have jumped, because I lost all my momentum. Ali asks, Dan, have you been told your Coxcon schedule yet? No. <laughs> For goodness sake. I should look into that. I always forget. Jackson Zimmer, I have $50 to spend on games. What should I get? I tweeted a link of... Uh, what you can spend hundred pounds on. I recommend all those things, but I just picked those out as the first thing. You get this. I recommend Gunpoint if you've not played it. Playing it yesterday, I was like, oh shit, this game is so good. Um, Papers, Please. Also, cracking sort of thing for it nice and cheap. N++ if you like platformers. This if you like platformers. 
If you're an RPG, I think Fallout's only £10. Fallout 4 is only like £10 at the moment. The Witcher. The Witcher 3 Game of the Year Edition, I think it's £17.99. The awesome Fletch, if you get this oh, rainbow yeah. medal, I will give you 6,000 Twiddlies on. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! I don't want it to say how great I am, because it's going to sit at the top for ages. <laughs> so I don't want it to say that I'm the best. I want it to be like, wow, this is the best stream of the world. Like, anybody who comes in is like, oh shit, people will be saying that and donating that kind of money. That's the deal, alright? <laughs> Why do you keep asking what an oboe is, Duck Lover? Duck Lover keeps asking us to uh, describe oboes and what's an oboe? It's a woodwind instrument, I don't understand. Fuck it! Oh, yes! A second! A second off the time! Rainbow Metal! Shower me in your glory! <laughs> I am sweating! The amount of sweat that's part of me is insane! Oh. Ah. Ah. Anyway. <laughs> Thank shit. you for the 100 twiddlies, random rocker. Thank, Thank you. For you. Space. I like how 200 people literally dropped off the bottom. <laughs> like, I love 200 on the bottom. Uh, thank you, Andy Face. Thank you, you people. Right, you know, I'm going to try and beat that time because that is a second off. That's how they think. I'm ranked 245. Nicely done. Nicely done. Thank you for the 100 twiddlies, Austin awesome Flat. <sighs> You're not really annoying. 2% of Flat has got faster than me. Thank you for the twiddlies, Midian. Look, people give twiddlies when you do well. Yeah, I know shit. I gotta get more. <laughs> you need to get better. I did. I want to do it again. You know, I, want to, I, want to, I want to see if I can knock a bit more time off because I felt like I can with that uh, that extra bit. Becca, would you like back tonight with Shaw Within Temptation? Uh, 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 probably within, within Temptation. Oh, I don't really just do it. How long will this go on for until I've got several more rainbow medals? Until I'm a millionaire, basically. Guy, the 120 seconds so much. Stop asking questions for me, guys. Yes, Make it rain, and Lee, hundred twiddlies. Thank you very much. Oh Emily. yeah, it's <laughs> making it rain. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, and then I oh, missed it. Bullshit, that went through. Oh, I'll actually crack it. Mr. G, my sit down. What's your favourite episode of Hustle? Of the Hustle. Of Hustle. The, the hustle. okay, two. There's the Mondrian one. That's but a good also episode. The, I like the Henderson episode. challenge, which I did base my own uh, special oh, after. Six thousand twenty for the awesome fetch Wow, thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much. And the comment that will be at the top forever is, here, take your bloody twiddly. No! <laughs> <laughs> no, that's terrible! <laughs> God damn it, I wanted something like, he's the best, you should totally be subscribing here. <laughs> oh, fuck, oh well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> My poop. <laughs> I just, out the corner of the word poop just appeared. Oh. Thank you, Coffee Robotic, for poop. See, this is my favorite thing about this game, is when you find that line that nobody else playing it found. Uh, uh, Carlos Diego keeps asking, do I like Royal Republic? I have no idea what Royal Republic is. Good. Do you know what Royal Republic is? No. no I don't know either. Thoughts on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yes. We've also got asked this question quite a lot. I don't like it, and you haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? It's funny, I don't understand. It's American comedy. I don't it should be funny. It. By rules, American TV shows tend to be very funny. Yeah. I mean, American tends to do TV. They tend to do comedy a lot better because they focus on character, which is how you get great comedy. Mm -hmm. I mean, compared to modern, you know, modern English comedy. Shit, I'm never gonna do this again. That was literally, that was it. <laughs> that was the time. I'm gonna have a few more goes, and I'm gonna go try and rainbow another level. Helen says, "I wish I had six thousand five hundred bits to get that fucking bitchy cheer off of the screen." <laughs> Yeah, but the next one is gonna be like just the word like shit or something. It's gonna ugh. Coffee Robotics says P, which is funnier. Poop is totally funnier. Poop is always funnier. Mm. Poop is a more fun activity for all. I'm gonna go take a wee. You just say, yeah, you just be like, I'm gonna go take a wee. And then you go take a wee. We have a poo. Don't take a poo. You commit to a poo. Who says take a wee? I take a wee. Why? Nobody does. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say that. Dan, will you ever be on Barshans again? Maybe! Yes, 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 yes! Boom! Oh, 0.3 of a second off again! <laughs> I hope he'll be on Barshans again, and I hope I get to go along this time. There you go, rank 117. Hey, Matt, fuck you! Rank 12,409. <sighs> oh my god, Dan, I hope you know that I'm getting 6,000 on Twitter at least at some point. Imagine if we nobody subscribed to this man. <laughs> 
<laughs> 100 twitties. If you get another rainbow medal, I will give 6,100 twitties and write this is the greatest stream in the world. Yes! <laughs> oh my god, you can't give that many twitties. I need to find a level to do. We uh, tried easy peasy. A Kalaha, thank you so much for the 500 twiddly Twitch man faces. Thanks so much. Flow. Try jumping halfway through a loop. Coffee Robotic says, I'm glad I made you have a short conversation about pooping. <laughs> You, you see, we have that conversation daily. Yeah, Ooh. we really do. Oh, everyone was going a little bit slower then. Favourite Rick and Morty episode, you two? Oh, I don't actually know. There's a lot of them. Um, I like Me Six and Destroy. You do, don't you? I do. I just like how dark it gets. It's just very satisfying. But you're ready for the darkest year of their adventures. Yes! <laughs> Bolas wants to know your favourite first officer and favourite engineer. Just, you might as well just do my favourite crow. <laughs> just put data in every role, that's my way of saying it. I like, I've always liked Kira, because Kira is a super interesting thing. Because Deep Space Nine is, I think, the terrorists. Like, that's literally the whole plot of Deep Space Nine. It's like, well, these are some terrorists. It's weird. Not feeling the level. Apparently Royal Republic uh, like Panic at the Disco. Alpha's Not my show. thing, in that case. Oh, God, Don't like music like that. Level. Don't understand it. How do you do the swinging? Not like that. <laughs> Annalise, it's Rebecca, oh, rejoice. It's no longer 105 degrees where I am. It's now 110. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God, look at this. These swinging levels are really fun. The swinging levels as well. If you didn't know. Nathan, aka Yogi, so my mum has just walked in and handed me a cheesy bean toasty. My life cheesy is Cheesy bean slice! Cheesy bean toasty! Aww. Not cheesy bean slice. That's better than cheesy bean slice. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. I hope we provide good entertainment while you're enjoying your cheesy bean toasty. Cheesy bean slice. <laughs> George Frost 96, I've been watching since 2011. I wrote about you in my dissertation on performance. And in the end, I got a 2 1 for it. I feel like Aww. I. <laughs> Didn't max you out, I'm sorry. <laughs> Feel like I owe you a couple of Lego for getting me through GCSE's A levels in a degree, thank you. You should have read about Ashens. That's really cool. Baron Buchanan, hello again. I would just like to say that you guys make me laugh every day, but please follow on Twitter. Guys, if you want to follow Baron Buchanan on Twitter, is that Baron <laughs> Buchanan Baron? I lose my Twitter not for a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's just seen that Trump tweeted a wrestling gift. Tweets in Belgium. Yeah, it's because I block him. Good. Not Matt, Trump. Oh. Killer me! A hundred tiny Pokemon, Twitch Pokemon things. Just a little cheat to let you know I'm working as a teaching assistant from next week. Good luck. Ooh. It's going to be with your tens though. Oh, good luck. So oh, hopefully geez. I'll make it some holidays. Right. Well, good luck. <laughs> uh, you'll have to come back and let yeah, us know. Yeah, if you survive, let us know. Only if though. Dancy man, Dan, what about you said you're welcome from Moana was the best Disney song. Do you still think so? You're welcome. Yes. It's such a good song. What other options are there? Oh my god, I'll make a man at you. You'll make a man at me. I'll make a man at you. I'll make a man at you. I'll make a man out of you. No, wait. Nice. That was good. That right. that Boom, right? suck a dick, rainbow speed. Alright, you got a lot more speed on me there. God, he does that really early. Sam Potato says I now associate a welcome with Dan. Huh? Just jumped earlier. Dan, have you watched any NJPW? New Japan Pro Wrestling! Oh. oh I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's the one that a lot of people say you should tell them what you're saying because it's like the best thing. But I'm kind of off wrestling for the moment. It's kind of. Yeah. It needed, I needed a, a figure to care about, and they did, weren't providing one. They were going, You like Roman Reigns, don't you? I'm like, No, not you. Oh, I can be told what I like. Rebecca, what's your opinion on Bohemian Rhapsody? If you heard it, yes, I've heard Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody, I've heard it. I ran into children's week. <laughs> it's one of the best things of all time. Does anyone have an opinion that's different than that? I don't really care for it. Oh my gosh, you just, you just <laughs> shut up. 
Right. Good old fashioned lover boy is my favourite Queen song though, because it's amazing. Oh my god, it's the best song. I'm a big Queen fan, to be honest. I mean, they're amazing. It's just. I'm not like into Queen. Yeah, I mean, they're obviously exceptional. So. Yeah, it's like the Beatles. It's like, I'll, I appreciate what you did, and I can see your place in music history, but I don't really want to have a listen to you right now. Apart from Good Old Fashioned Lover Boy, best song ever. I'm sure Barcelona, but picture him. Second off this guy. Yeah, 10 is age 14, 15 for those outside of the UK. <gasps> Good luck. Yeah, that's not like a room full of kids and hormones. Is it mixed or single sex? Because that's going to deeply change how that goes for you. Yeah. <laughs> what is your opinion on Blink 182? I'm going to assume this question is after this. What's your opinion on Blink 182? What songs do they do? What's your... wait. This is where I fail to remember the names of any of the songs. I can only remember them if I sing them in my head. Sing them out loud! <laughs> no! I'll sing them out loud. Give me no. a song. I literally can't remember songs in Britain. Like, I'm pretty sure. When people are like, Do you like Nightwish? And I'm like, Oh my god, I, can't, I literally can't think of a single Nightwish song. Help me. And then someone the other day was like, Do you like Stone Sarah? And I'm like, I love Stone Sarah. I love Stone Sarah, Sarah all the time. I can't think of a song. So I, like, I was, someone was like, what's your favourite Slipknot song? And I had to literally think about it for 20 minutes. That's why it took me so long to answer that question. Because my brain was going, I can't even name one Slipknot song. Why? Why has this happened? I just realised that all these times I'm getting a personal quest. <laughs> I don't know why that happens. Like, if people ask for, like, a song title. Or, like, an, an, an episode title as well. I just can't, I can't remember. My brain just goes, no, that's not right. I'm so tired you don't really see these days. Like yeah, but I know that. Name. You never see it. Yeah, but I always go to watch the same episode, so I see the titles over and over again. Because I like to watch things that I know, so I just watch the same. I listen to the same things over and over again. I want to start. I'll tell you what, I want to start watching with you. I'm establishing feet. What's what? It's essentially the American version of the thick of it, as far as I can tell. But it's written yes. by a mono, so it is actually. In that level. That's how he does it. It's a double swing, you crafty bastard. Ooh, coffee robotic. Uh, sucks. <laughs> what is the worst thing about schooling in the UK? Is in specific to the UK? We went to two very different schools. Yes, we did. Um, what's the worst thing about? What was the worst thing about? What's the worst thing about schooling in the UK then? Um, honestly, I. See, I got very, 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 very lucky with my high schooling because my teacher, my sorry, my head teacher, Mr. Frank Keenan, was literally honoured for his services to education because he turned a school that wasn't great into a school that was spectacular, and he gave a shit. Like, and that's the important thing. So I'd say that the biggest problem is if you get like, if you don't get, it, like, well, that's not really specific to. Britain, Dan really. went to a private school, I guess. Yeah, I went to a private school. I did not go to a private <laughs> school. I went to a, I went to a very, very, very nice school. It was, it was, it was, oh, I okay, went to a sarcastic school. Sarcastic comment on that. Is that a sarcastic comment? You need to tell me. It's hard to tell, Anthony. There needs to be, right, I've seen somebody fighting for this, and I think it's the best idea. There needs to be a sarcasm punctuation. Ooh, mm hmm Instead of this stupid... Instead of That's slash it. s, like yeah. a, like a, I, I don't know, just like a symbol that means this was sarcasm. Because it's such an important thing that just doesn't come across in text. So having an actual little individual symbol for it would be a really cool idea. It was sarcastic, I was referencing him being something okay. It's because there's actually funding in school since ha Having funding is something that we already have. I don't know, what's it like? Yeah, you get funding. The North doesn't get funding. My mum's a teacher in the north, and there's just no funding. I don't know if it's, it's, my my biggest problem in school is when you have people who are teaching because they couldn't do anything else, and they don't want to be there. A teacher who wants to be there and wants to do best by kids will just is the best thing. Well, my mum buys loads of stuff out of her own money and stuff because yeah, your mum gets important. Yeah, oh yeah, You're my mum absolutely lucky. adores her job. And, oh, you cheeky son. And she just loves kids, and she just wants them all to be happy, well-rounded people. The fact we can't have turkey twizzles at lunchtime. Show me all of them. <laughs> Shake my fist there and make me fall in lava. I actually eat salad salads every day. Salad <laughs> every day. Yeah, well, I didn't have a butler to make them in the morning, oh, did I? God. So... 
sorry. Yes. There we go! Pace for pace! Oh, I mean, he's a little ahead. Oh, I fucked up the jump. Oh, I'm from a Carlisle and we've had absolutely horrible funding in all areas. I missed the bottom of that trick. Yeah, but yes. Yeah, honestly, there's like no funding. I mean, it's no funding in the north, but. And I just voted to delicious. not increase like sleeping waves or something. Thanks, Conservatives! The thing is, it's a very noticeable massive drop in funding when Conservatives are in, and then Labour gets in, and suddenly there's funding for um, arts education, schooling, and things, and oh. the North actually gets some I know. funding. I and know. then Conservatives get back in, and there's no funding. It's like, what? A big education problem that's kind of exclusive to this country. Mm -hmm. Our university costs are fucking extortionate. Mm -hmm. I know there's stuff like, you know, America that have extortion things, but they don't even fucking healthcare, so they're a fucking third world country. The president's too busy tweeting fucking wrestling names. So, uh, yeah, our education... When I started university, education was £3,000 a year. It's now, what, is it 12 now, or have they not voted on that yet? Oh, yeah, I, I, I can't remember if that's going in. It's, it's 9 or £12,000 a year. For an education, and it just nobody gets it, and then the, nobody wants to go. Especially where I grew up, poor areas. It's just not a thing people want to do. There you go, nine thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. Yeah, to go up to twelve thousand at the end of one of these years is what the Tories are pushing for. It's like today, my uncle was like, "Well, you shouldn't pay for an education if you're not going to use it." Ew, cunt. Oh, fucking really, I don't give a shit about it. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Cut funding to? I don't know why. YouTube. I don't know why some people are against people having an education. That's very strange. I mean, I definitely think it's a bit ridiculous with some of the university classes that end up getting offered, like event management. Like, is that really right, necessary? Here's, here's, is, a, is a degree? Here's the thing: an educated workforce is a workforce that gets better jobs, and a workforce that can get better jobs is a workforce that's worth more money. So it's worth more money to get an educated workforce. Like, a, a country does better if its citizens are smarter. That's just maths. That really badly. Yeah. It's like... It's like, yeah, the university fees are extortion in this country. I mean, they were, they were a couple of decades ago nothing. It was like everywhere else. It was free. In Scotland it's free. Wooden Grump says, education is an investment, not a cost. Am I right? Mm hmm. Killaby, you missed my tunes last time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I asked, could Rebecca please say Killaby like Nan does? No. And two, would you like me to draw you anything in the future like the Twiddlies? I'm not jumping that spot. I really like drawing the Twiddlies. I don't know. Draw do what you feel like drawing. Draw a Killaby. Draw a Killaby. Draw a Killaby. Say Killaby. <laughs> I feel like if I can land on that on the flat, if I'm going fast enough, that's better than jumping. What do I fucking know? Jump. Thoughts on the Taskmaster Series 5 lineup? Mark Watson! Mark Watson! Makes the world better! Substantially better. Daniel, lesbians are education, or in my case, I have both. <laughs> Alright, rub it in and try to <laughs> dream about lesbians. Oh, come on! Oh, kill a beast! Bring the medal! Killer bee's gonna draw a killer bee! What? The kilo bee's really fat bee. No, a killer! Oh, Sorry. and Lee, I found out recently this. that my old high school did away with art, band, and drama under the guise of a budget cut, but up the football budget by almost 100%. That's disgraceful. That's because if they get a team that gets into the league, they can get sponsors and get more money. Gotta hate this one. Oh, I love this game, man. <laughs> Good game. I'm sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, you suggested Blue Murder 20 times per stream. Where can I try buy it? Um, the shop that I... Because somebody asked me about this on Twitter the other day. The shop that I... The website that I buy it from is down at the moment. Oh. Oh, so I, I don't know where to suggest you get it from, I'm afraid. Oh, 60 twiddlies! But you never know. If, especially if you're in Scotland, you might be near a shop that sells it. But if you're elsewhere, you might be near somewhere that sells it. 
Time to point out I'm only 0.01 of a second faster than that time. Holy shit. <laughs> this is oddly specific, but if anyone's got a Glen Eagle, they do have it there. Don't give me there. Oh, oh yes! Oh, yes! <laughs> thank you, Awesome Fletch! And uh, uh, not to mention Zyther at the top there. Oh, thank you very much, Zyther, for the 120. Awesome Fletch, this is the greatest stream ever. Turn it to subscribe. You marvelous bastard. And there it is, sitting at the top forever. Right, stream time, you can all fuck off. <laughs> gonna leave that there. It's gonna be. So oh, look at all the Twitch subscribers coming in right now. Actually, we're about to hit. What day is it today? It's Sunday. Oh, it's Sunday. Hello. Happy first, Sunday. Second. Is that a thing? Happy Sunday. It's just that the people, when we started doing this, a whole bunch of people subscribed on the first day, and you're all about to run out of your Twitch Prime subscription. So keep an eye on that. Oh. Right. Uh, if anybody's got any. Uh, one of these. Let's try and. These are the harder level. All these are medium levels. But if anybody wants me to try and beat any of these with a thing, which I'm probably not going to. I like the twiddly battle that seems to be developing between the awesome Fletch and Luigi. <laughs> Oh look, there goes yeah. See, Twitch Ram subscribes coming in. You, yeah, you've got hey, my Rocky, sure. thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Zeno and CP, thank you. Meadow Cottage, ah. And you like Jake Cisco? I I'm mixed on Jake Cisco. Some episodes he's really good and he's a great folly, but some episodes he's a bit annoying. Have you ever had American cheese? Yes, unfortunately. No. Ugh. You know how they pump sugar into their bread. You know Why cheese do they string? Do that? Cheese string is closer to cheese than American cheese. Yeah. Yes. You know, do I look like some of these cheese strings? I buy my cheese you on the internet. Like... <laughs> you, do... <laughs> you do buy your cheese on the internet. Uh, I should read a chapter of my book out now. You right. should do that! No, it's it's first draft. You should draft. do that. I'm not sure my fucking first draft. It's so good, Dan. Right, here's really what I'm funny. gonna do. A lot of people are asking about the book thing, because I'm making a book. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. Oh, XO Elixir. We're gonna have. I'm writing a book, I'm gonna write a first draft of it, and then I'm gonna look for publishers, and then I'm gonna write the second draft, but I'm gonna write it from scratch for the second draft. And again for the third draft, and again for the fourth draft. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, Love Child, Alex. Oh no. You put space oh, in, now he's not gonna be the top twiddler. Dancy Man, thank you for the subscribe. subscribe. Archie Baji, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Alright, what are we gonna go for? Should we go for. Wicked Waves? Deadly Drops? Go good with the drops. Thank you, Dancy Man. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, why is, why is all American bread just brioche? Do you have brioche? What do you call it? Is it just even sweeter bread? Pixels in space. Sadly, that is true. And Dan, uh, what Dan said. And my high school had a room in music. Ooh, filled with broken guitars. Oh, come on, go back. Come on, come on, come on. God, God, wait. Okay, I'm so lucky. You got lucky. Uh, uh, broken guitars that we had to fucking use because P needed a new set of maths. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Bank of Man, 2020. Hey guys, when you did the overgrowth video, I realised I've been watching your fucking amazing content for probably seven plus years. I'm seriously rethinking my life. Love the stream. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't rethink the life. <laughs> don't rethink it. Wait, so American bread is just called buttery. It's weird, man. It's um, sweet. It's just like brioche, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a happy fun time. Oh shit! Everything's sweet. Yeah, brioche here is super sweet. That's we call it brioche, brioche and sweet bread, shit bread. Because you have biscuits and gravy, don't you? Which I was offered in America. They went, Do you want biscuits and gravy? And I was like, That's a weird combination. Let's try it. It's like a scone and fucking shit. Wait, wait, wait. Janix Gavovsky. Is that right? Subscribe to Twitch Prime Formans and Roll. Thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. Got me through some pretty hard times. And also, thanks, Rebecca. Your personality is, is just makes that every day better. Thank you so much. It's very kind. Thank you. I've been having to think about YouTube lately. Because mm -hmm. before I was getting a bit like, oh, I want to do something else. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can do like better things than YouTube. I feel like it's, I've, I'm fine because I've done it for so long. I'm finding it easy. And once you find something easy, you should probably move on to something else. It also does a lot of good shit. People like it. It makes people feel happy. So I'm gonna try and find a place for everything in my life. That was my, that was my thing I came to the other day, and I felt good coming to that conclusion. Yeah, that's a. Biscuits <laughs> and gravy, not like um, uh, dumplings. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a thing. I don't fucking know what it was. It made me sick. <laughs> just, just mentally. Like when they put O, in. no O, no, O U in colour. What? What? Like... I say aluminum to them. Oh my god, don't. <laughs> they claim that they, you know, won the war. 
I reckon it's like that, like, a dude in a basketball movie who comes in the last minute and does, like, the final shot. Like, I want it for everyone, and they were pulling the hero. But then, in the Space Jam context, he, America is... Who's the guy came in? <laughs> They're not dumplings, but, yeah, like, I don't mean, like, I don't mean, like, um... Of Asian Oriental dumplings. I Who mean, comes like, in the end of Space Jam? I mean, like British dumplings. What have they got in them? They've got um, suet. Suet in them, yes, like suet dumplings, not tasty. And this is Bill Cosby. <laughs> it's not what? Bill Cosby. Who comes in at the end of Space Jam? Thingy from Ghostbusters and Groundhog Day. Bill Bill Murray. Mm -hmm. Bill Murray. Yeah. Yeah, Bill Murray comes in the end. They would like Bill Murray. Come on, fucking saying that for. Shaggy oh. face. Biscuits and gravy are round, scones and flour based gravy. Do, do, do they have fair suet in them though? Do you have suet in America? <laughs> kind of fucking sugar. You got, it's all fake sugar shit you got. It's also kind of a fucking president who's saying that we're not going to hold that against you. We just hope you'll learn from it. <laughs> Pixels and spaces. I'm moving to California for a job in a few years. Hopefully, I'm going. Hopefully, am I going to die from eating brown bread? Brown bread? Oh god, I was coming back and forth at the same time. The way I'm playing this game, Rebecca, could you please observe how I play this game to push this again? Sorry, push this sorry. I'm stuck in my fingers, sorry. Well, uh, yep. Look at my hands on the keyboard. Yeah. See how I'm holding this down? This key is just used for this, and I'm jumping yeah. and sliding with this. Yeah. Now, every now and then you have to run backwards, and I keep holding this down, because for me it's just like running up, and I'm like, WHY AREN'T I GOING ANYWHERE?! Could you please just hold on that idiot? Daniel is an idiot. Oh, I don't know what to tell him that. Well, I've heard that this is the greatest stream ever, and you should totally subscribe to it. I heard that as well. I would listen to the awesome flex, they seem pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, they're in prison doing porridge for a while, but... <laughs> I get that every time I read it as well. <laughs> There's not enough Norman Stanley Fletchers in TV. Oh, Super Cheese is American, and they said they've only seen suet in the form of bird food. Like the, those balls of fat. Yeah. Other, other Americans, do you have suet? Do you use suet? Just out of interest. So it's actually a drug. I mean, if you get a good dumpling. Like a proper stew dumpling with a soft carrot. Ooh. Someone just said not for food. What the hell is suet? <laughs> I am American, don't know what suet is. That might. Are you younger? Because I, I feel like a lot of younger people don't know what suet is. Can I just point out that the word suet sounds fucking amazing? Yeah, I agree. It's a great word, suet. I mean, they when they go suet, they mean a completely different thing in America. Oh, I went too fast! I hit the top cock! I didn't hit the top cock. <laughs> it's just a cock thing. I thought, like, oh, do you mind? That was the voice of the cock that I hear. <laughs> to be frank, um, is it to be frank if it's to be if it's TBF? Is it to be frank? Is that right? To be fair, to be fair, I'm British and I have no idea what suet is. Yeah, I thought a lot of younger people might not not know. Yeah, it's like an animal fat. Yeah, and you do dumplings with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tasty, mock fucking dumplings. Why once you put in a stew and it makes it all fluff up and oh, oh, oh nom 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 boom rainbow metal suck my dick. Generic. Smith two eight zero one says basically rendered beef fat, lovely and nice. Mhm. Mm mm. Just got another ramp of metal. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm reading uh, everyone's uh, discussion on suet. <laughs> the awesome place is going. In. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, George Ryan asks, has Dad Keith made dumplings on the channel? <laughs> Give me a moment. Alright, you won't be able to say actually I'll tell you. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, Puffer Felly Jish! I've been watching you for so many years now. The first of yours I watched was one of the early three free games ones with the wolf sim or something. All because my friend sent it to me saying, holy shit, this guy's like Eddie Zard. They weren't wrong and I stayed because you're awesome. Thank you for the 100 twiddlies. Yes! <laughs> Dad's mate, when he was secret recipes and not food of Jack Cube, he has hand me down stew, which is the stew that has been handed down many times. He has dumplings in that. That was the meal that he had all the meat set up for and I knocked it off while he was filming. And there's a video of him about to make it and I fuck it up. Well, ignore that, but he has made a stew video. Dear Tio! Dio Tio! Dio Tio! It's just Dio Tio! I, I thought it was, but then I read it and I was like, was that right? 1520, thank you so much. Rebecca, not gonna hold it against you, but you missed my summer. I'm so sorry. Also, editing another Dear Tob 
builds while watching the stream. Oh my Yay. god, advertising! <laughs> Okay. She totally just like pimps up out. Well, not pimps up out, but. I'm gonna do a level I haven't got gold in yet. It's a Ooh. medium difficulty level. Oh, oh, I missed, I missed someone because I was reading out the thing. I missed a sub, I missed a sub. Benji J just got a Twitch Prime for two months and nothing. Grab is currently free on Xbox Live. What? It's a great game. Thank you for pointing that out. Mm -mm. Ooh, Dan Rebecca, digestive biscuit or rich tea biscuit? I like rich digestive tea. biscuit. Whoa. Mm -hmm. well, I prefer mold and milk's better than anything else, though. Because I like mold. I feel like I'm an old person. Oh, cock! Like, this was the level I was doing at the start. Oh, cock, heck of a We're old people with suet and mold. <laughs> we are! I mean, we're old people because, you know, I actually cook my own fucking food. And I'm going to Five Guys or Uber, whatever it is the kids are using. That's the taxi thing, isn't it? Yeah. What's the. What's Just Eat! I don't got any of these things to get my food. I actually cry. I graft and I cry in the kitchen. And I'm like, tasty, nutritious food. That... I'm not buying this whole Daniel bought a uh, like, pre cooked meal, uh, a ready meal the other day. Sorry, <laughs> yesterday. Have some... yesterday. <laughs> and it made a meal. <laughs> so I've had a bad back and I didn't want to cook. And I was like, I'm just going to buy a thing. Mm -hmm. We're going to buy a thing. And you're like, it's a good idea. And then I've had the shits all day. Oh shit, apparently Uber do deliveries now. Can oh, we get? Does that mean they can deliver for like five guys? How far do they travel? Will they travel really, really super far? Five guys, five guys now. He jumps, where does he jump? He jumps on that bit. Got to beat the goal. Let me do that. Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> I can't remember shouting. Rebecca, you fool! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Rebecca just like zoned out, like. 6,250 twiddlies. Wow, thank you so much. The awesome Fletch. Now, Kim is the greatest streamer. Don't mind. 20 out of 10 must subscribe. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm sorry, I got distracted by Uber <laughs> doing delivery. You were like, five guys. There's me going, all right, to make tasty food. And you're like, mm, yeah, but five guys. <laughs> oh. Steady on, Zoe Quinn. <laughs> can, we, can we please just change the name oh. of Ready Meals to Ding Dinners? I like it. Oh my God, that's great. <laughs> Shit, get a job on advertising immediately. Immediately. You are a gift to the world. <laughs> I like ding dinners. Oh, pissed. I like it too. Oh, Above tiles, Alex, what's your ideal Sunday roast? I just like vegetables. I don't really like meat. I like, see if I'm roasting anything, I like lamb. If I like lamb where you split the skin and put cloves of garlic in it, and then serve it with mint sauce. I like lots of roasted vegetables. All of the roasted vegetables. Can we have for dinner today? Can we have dinner? Oh shit, we've had dinner. That's the worst food. I'm still hungry. You've already got, you've got one here. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Dan, Rebecca, have either of you seen Zombieland? I didn't like it. Have you seen Zombieland? Why would I have seen a horror film? It's not a horror film. It's a horror film. It's called Zombie Land. It's like an awkward teenage stupid film. Oh, so it's a horror film. It's not a horror film. Rebecca, favorite vegetable. Oh, I like sprouts. Mm. Oh, I love sprouts. Oh, I love sprouts so much. Why are we talking with streams? I basically realized that we have nothing in common apart from we like food. We have a lot of things in common. I just feel like chat doesn't tend to ask about those things because they're old people things. They're not like, what's your favourite 70s TV show? Porridge. Oh, I love porridge so much. <laughs> what's your favourite 80s TV show? Oh, oh, what's it going to be? I don't know. Is it going to be? Is I it going to be? Go. Yes. No. Oh, <gasps> Daniel, how dare you? Oh, no. I have uh, to. Nothing, I mean, nothing is better than Excuse me. Yeah, you haven't gotten the Yes Prime Minister yet, though. Yes Prime Minister is just amazing. I mean, come on, I'm beating, I'm beating, bounding off Red Dwarf there at that door, so. The Oz of Fletchers have only got enough twiddlies left for one more Rainbow Mech. Wow, gosh, I like twiddlies, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Rainbow Fletch. Rainbow Fletch? Awesome. Oh my god, change it to Rainbow Fletch. Yeah, you're now, the, Fletch. you're now the Rainbow <laughs> Fletch. Yeah, but you're gonna put something shit on the mask, aren't you? I'm not getting more. You've paid your due. <laughs> You've advertised forever. How do you do that jump? I can't make that jump. Ooh, I like to keep asking what's your favourite oat based breakfast meal? Well, granola come under that because it's like roasted oats, right? Well, I have OT biscuits every morning dipped in a yogurt, so I'm going to say OT biscuits dipped in a yogurt. I like granola with like dried apple and dried raspberry with plain yogurt. Rebecca, do you have a Shit. pillow of your dog and your bunny? I have a few. And yes. I need to get a pillow with Matilda on, I need to get a pillow with Eli on, but we normally get them as gifts. I reckon Dan, what's 
What's your opinion on Yorkshire puddings? Huh. I fucking love a good Yorkshire. Yorkshire with the right gravy to mm -hmm. fill. You need to be filled with gravy. It needs to be crispy. Again, my dad just did turn the hole. And he has the best Yorkshire bear in the world. In fact, that turn the hole is so good. Loads of people have been sending in pictures. Yeah, that looked beautiful. Oh, I love seeing him. Really Loads cooking, of people have yeah. sending in pictures about Everyone's doing it. Everyone's looked so good. It's my dad's bar recipe just inflates. It's a, it's fucking wild. I think actually when he did just the Yorkshire puddings, like we, I made him record the, uh, the oven, so you can just see those fuckers just inflate. It's amazing. Nothing. Nothing. Someone Woo. in chat whose name I can't remember. I'm afraid that it's gone past. Yes. Asked what our favorite nineteen sixties TV show is. It depends when Mash. When did Mash come out? Did Mash start in the nineteen sixties? I mean, it's about the nineteen. 30, 20s. When was the Korean War? Fuck me, when was the Korean War? 50. Six. I'm not the person that asked. It might be. Actually, I'm thinking that is the 70s. Oh, awesome, Fletcher Dan. Uh, how did you know my pump? Besides, I only do it for badges. 24,800 till the next one. Wow. Hey, put, put all that in one go. You ain't never leaving that. <laughs> well. When was Mash coming out? Has anyone said 950s? Smash Mash wasn't as far early as the 950s. Fucking fucking white man. Korean War was the 50s. Yeah, the Korean War was the 50s. Mash was 1983. Mash was 1983. I have a plan. Someone said Mash was 1983. Was that, that was it 1983? Was it? I mean, I actually had to watch Mash, but I. You look it up on your phone device. I will. 1983 sounds far too late for Mash. It's definitely got a. It's definitely got a 70s feel to it. Can I have it last the 1948 show? Because that was the 60s, wasn't it? Season 11 finished in 1983. Ah, so it definitely was, yeah, stronger. Uh, 1972 to 1983. Yeah, I can't make that chance. I have no idea how to make that chance. Fun fact, if you've never seen MASH before, it is the most watched television show of all time, likely never to be beaten, apart from by sporting events. The only thing that's ever beaten it is sporting events. The final episode of MASH was watched by the most amount of people in America ever. It, not, not even friends beat it. Not even friends, man. It's pretty, pretty, it's a pretty great show. It's, it's also, it's a revolutionary show. That's why 1983 is too late for it. Because it, it literally changed TV. Ooh, Thunderbirds was 65 to 66. The original Thunderbirds. Mm. Well, the original, of course, the original Thunderbirds. When was the 1948 show? The 1947, what was it called? I lost the 1943 show? It's a knockout 1966, yes! <laughs> Best TV show in the 60s. Uh, Malcolm and Wise, 68. Do I consider TNG an 80s or 90s show? It's very much an 80s show. In the same way, even though I consider Red Dwarf a 90s show, really. Uh, Sykesander with um, Eric Sykes and Hattie Jakes was the 60s. That would be my favourite 60s show. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Was, um... Oh, I hate Jake though. More than why? What you said? It was in the start of the 60s. More than why would probably take my 60s show then. My character. More than why 68 to 76. Yeah, I'll take that as a 60s show. Because that's when it's started. Hey, look, those up just because apart from a few shows like Batman and Run, like a Marriage TV show ever, and. Um, the Adams Family, which was also the 60s, wasn't it? I'm a bit fuzzy on what was actually the 60s and what came just a little bit earlier and a bit later. Yeah, we went around for it, and it it, it has to be based on knowledge, not feel of an air, a time. Ooh, Anna Lee, cooking challenge, design a million thing. only a microwave to cook, no further refrigerated ingredients allowed. I get angry whenever I have to use the microwave. Yeah, I don't, even, thing. I don't like it. cooking in the microwave. No. It makes me sad. Mm -hmm. Sad in my inside bits. Ooh, Dan Rebecca, what's your favourite soup? Uh, broccoli and Stilton. I like a butternut squash soup. How do you do it? How do you do it? What do you jump? I need to know your secret! <laughs> I don't I don't get where this guy's jumping. Unless he's jumping and then going the other direction, which I really do. Dan, what's your favourite movie of all time? Back to the Future. Somebody pointed out something to me that I didn't know about Back to the Future the other day. So Dan, Rebecca, Victor Borg, or Tom Lehrer? Tom Lehrer. Oh, did you know about Tom Lehrer before me? I did, but I didn't know who it was. Ah. Oh. Um, there's no extra jump thrown in there. 
Cheeses in soup just sounds so fucking weird. When I was living in Finland, you could actually buy just cheese soup. Cheese flavoured soup. And I've not seen it in this country, so I'm assuming it's a Finnish thing. And these little black cards. And the best thing about it was it's fucking amazing white sauce for lasagna. Oh! Oh! Alright, where do you jump, you asshole? There. Dan, Rebecca, have you seen the social network? I have not. I haven't. I've got it. I bought it because I wanted to watch it because I fucking love Aaron Sorkin. Mostly. Not like the newsroom. Shit. Hey, Dan, do you respond to people on Patreon? Because uh, I became a patron because I got my first support paycheck and I'm happy to support you. I support. I, I, I go to my Patreon messages whenever I go, oh, fuck, Patreon messages are a thing. But I, I do it every couple of months because they do build up and I take like a day out and then just respond to anyone. Normally it's when I'm on a train or something. Mm hmm. Yeah, do you like on the buses? God, it's been a very long time since I've seen on the buses. On the buses hasn't aged. Oh, gold medal took it at the last second. Oh, I was losing that entire game. On the buses hasn't aged well. You hate the newsroom? How? That show was unreal. Unreally shit. No, just really shit. Emily, have to start driving again. Talk, uh, talk for audio mode only. Dan, you missed your chance for a metric ton of like, Should have oh, just no. brought it here. Should have brought it here. Have fun driving. Right. The newsroom was a show that was, you know those arguments you have in the shower and you're like, no, I'd say that and they say that and I'm trying to do the thing. It's that, but the TV show version of it and it doesn't work for me. Do you guys like Steptoe and Son? I quite like Steptoe and Son. Although, I feel like if I watch it, like, now, I'd be like, ooh. Yep. But I did like it when I was younger. Everyone's saying it's not Rainbow. I'm done with the Rainbow for the time being, because I want to play some new levels I've not played. Oh, God. Do you like Steptoe and Son? I haven't watched it very much of it at all. I used to watch it quite a lot. What I, just I, I a minute worry. <laughs> oh, God. Just a minute's the best of every single era that it was in. What, so all of them? <laughs> yep. I just, a, it just a minute predates TV these days, isn't it? Dan, what's your opinion on open all hours? Fuck. I don't like it. It ain't half hot, Mum. So the, I like hang on, wait, the new, so the newsroom, Aaron Sorkin's liberal arguments in the shower, where nothing ever progresses and... They do, there's this big, because it was kind of going with real world news, every episode would like skip months, but they were telling a relationship as if it was like an episode to episode sort of thing. So a relationship didn't work, and it was just news stories we've heard before, but like, ooh, what if the liberals were? <laughs> it was like an alternate universe, everything was still a bit shit. And then there was the episode where they killed Bin Laden, and it's just a America wank episode, and I just couldn't get through it. It's like, well, yeah, I know, well done, you killed the guy, but you don't need to salute a fucking pilot. Seriously, Jesus fucking Christ, that was a big fucking shark down there. I love Peep Show, I think Peep Show's amazing. Can't stand it. Yeah, Daniel hates it, but I, I love Peep Show. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, wait, wait. What was the other one they said? Oh my god. Um, hi, I'm Jeremy, how's it handling? Makes me, honestly, makes me cry. I just, ah. I can't. Open all hours. I just yes. think Open All Hours just is... I, it's I not, love it's, Open All Hours. It's gentle comedy. It's that gentle British comedy which is code for there aren't actually any jokes in it. Because I love there aren't any actual hours. jokes in it. Go on. There's not a joke. I mean, there are. And it's alright. I mean, it's a delight to watch because of Ronnie Barker and Dave Jason mm -hmm. are fucking legends. If it's on, I have to watch it. I can't not watch it. Did you watch the new one, though? Well, I tried. Well, I watched a big bit the of the first one. The new one atrocious. is perfect because the new one is identical. <laughs> it's identical to the other one. Absolutely awful. It's just, it's exactly the same gentle comedy. It's just now it just kind of feels outdated and weird. It's horrible. I really don't like it. I should make an action hand for Roller Coaster. Um, thoughts on Father Ted? I don't like, I don't get Father I Ted. I love me. I, right, I think that I really, really like the British comedy does that American comedy has never done, and if they try and do it, they don't do it very well, is depressing as shit location comedy. So Father Ted's Craggy Island, the IT crowd's basement, Red Dwarf. There's all these like ridiculously like dark and miserable places that British TV goes, that American TV never goes to. And that's my favorite thing about British TV. So yes, I like Father Ted. I like Father Ted. I I really enjoy just miserable people having a miserable time. Uh, but only like in a comedy club, like Black, uh, Black Books as well. Black Books is another great example. Oh, this is gonna be a lot of like forever. 
Have you seen Sausage Party? No. No? American comedy films, I just pretty much pile Oh, it's a porn thing. No. Well, oh. actually, it's got a massive orgy between lots of condiments. But... <laughs> Someone is pointing out Father Ted is not British. Is it Northern Irish? Yeah, it follows the rule of if it's successful and anywhere near England, it's British. Andy Murray, Scottish. Successful, British. This is how we do things. Actually, don't know. It's, it's, what's his face? It's Gamergate Hitler man. <laughs> Every time. Oh, that's fine. Anyway. Um, the. Oh, cock, I'm never going to do this. <laughs> the real ass fish asks, uh, do you like the decorative blue? I fucking love the Vicar of Dibley. Who doesn't like the Vicar of Dibley? Does somebody not like the Vicar of Dibley? The Vicar of Dibley is another very strong British comedy trope of person trapped in Village of Idiots. Oh, it's such a perfect show. Which is a very, very British thing that I don't think you get elsewhere. Where just every other character is an idiot and they're the, you cling to them because they're the only like burst of sanity. Sanity? Sanity in the whole place. This level's incredibly tricky. You gotta like break only and go do it only the right times. I'm struggling with it. Dan, what about Dad's Army? I've literally never seen it. I have, even though it's not obviously my thing. Uh, it's, it's excellent in parts, but it's just. Yeah. I've I think you'd very it. much enjoy it. It seems like something I would enjoy. I think I don't really like a lower low, so. That's because I'm not racist. <laughs> Find out a lot, a lot of funny. I can't help it. Although I haven't watched it for a really long time. I don't think I've watched it since I was like, I don't know, 14 or something, but <laughs> I did really enjoy it. My grandma always had it on. It was just permanently on, I feel like. I think it's, was it? Yeah, she always had it on. I don't know. I feel like a lot, a lot. I could always hear it when I was downstairs trying to examine it. The other one is Forty Towers. I'm not super keen on. No, I used to like it when I was little, and you, but you can't watch it now. It's it's just every single problem has the obvious solutions of just talk to the guy. Just when you're a little a thing. kid, it's really funny. Oh, it's, it's yeah, it's pure fun. I'm, I'm quite a big Fast fan. It's a it's a lost art, I would say. Is the Fast modern Fast is a bit too on the nut. Like, I mean, the thick of it gets described as a modern Fast. It's not a fight. I keep forgetting to jump there. No! Shark! No! Shark! What are your thoughts of the clangers? I love the clangers so much. Oh, I love the clangers. I love the soup dragon. Um, I think the thing about the clangers is that everything they're whistling is just a bug talking. It's just a bug talking in whistle form. So Finger like, Mouse is much better than the clangers. I see. I I don't like the creepy puppet era of kids TV. I live for the creepy puppet 1950s, era. 60s. Lamb chop, no, everything. No. Picky and perky, yes. To be honest, Just, right? Oh, oh, Basil Brush. I don't think there's an era of kids TV. Actually. I didn't watch. I watched uh, black and white kids children uh, kids TV shows growing up. I didn't have access to um, current TV. So I watched it as an adult. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really that into Bad Puss. There were just every single one of them is just relentlessly creepy, and it's always I a guy a lot of bad slightly too close to the mic going, "Children, are you doing something?" Finger Mouse is honestly the best. Bad Puss is feeling. Oh, Danger Mouse is amazing. I love Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse. Sorry, I, was, I read Bad Puss at the same everything time. Everything feels a bit Jimmy Savile in things like that. Oh. Make it, make it, make it, make Does it. Does anyone kiss. remember Brom? Brom was amazing. <laughs> When people say Brum, my first thought is always of uh, Betty, the doctor's car. I'm locked! One person. Nice. Oh, it's my mam saying, oh my god, lamb chop. I was going to say, one person's clearly older in the chat. Thanks, mam. <laughs> uh, Top Cat, I love Top Cat. Actually, here's a question. Does anybody remember Betty from Doctor Who? The Doctor's car, who just happened to live in the TARDIS. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really big part of Doctor Who. Well. What about keeping up appearances? I quite like keeping up appearances. Oh, I keep up appearances. <laughs> it's, again, it's stupid. It's really stupid. I don't know if I can watch it now. Favourite episode of Always Sunny? Um, Charlie Work. Oh, yeah, no, definitely Charlie Work. I really <laughs> like when I like it when they move to the suburbs as well. Oh, that's a really good yeah, episode. Oh, right. I love the cream pie episode. Oh, the one that <laughs> first end. I just, that was so perfect. Actually, um, I like 
I like the first season. I think the first season is still the best season of Always Sunny. I'll be perfectly honest, the new series, the one where they go to the water park, is just pure Always Sunny. It's mm. like just... It's effortless. You can tell that they just like... It's like, ah, fuck it, first draft right together, but it just all works and they don't give a shit. Uh, Charlie Gets Molested is an amazing episode, though. Ooh, that was a nice bit of one. That's just such a wonderful episode. I keep trying to make that jump, because if I make that jump, I'm fucking done. I'm done, man. Uh, what about Press Gang? I haven't watched Press oh, Gang. Oh, Press Gang's the shit. You have to watch it. It's Moffat's first real thing that he wrote. Yeah, but he, yeah just let me go. But no, yeah. it's he's, I think he's like really young when he wrote it. I can't remember. Yeah. But it's, Press Gang is really... It's one of those... like It was a revolutionary kids' TV show, because it didn't go like, hey, here's... Like, here's like some fun, wacky... T it's, it's more like sort of, you know, there won't be young adults these days. It's not like, here's some vampires that are crying glitter. It's like, it's dealing with serious issues that kids have to deal with. So it deals with things like suicide. It deals with things like uh, addiction. It's a, it's great. It's a really great show. Oh, bum, Ron bum, has bum, asked, bum, would bum, Jeff have bum. saved Coupling Series 4? Jeff didn't even save the series he was in. Jeff is a magical character who I relate to on a thousand levels. Uh, you know what? I think Captain Series 4 is problem is it, it just deviates from what it was good for. Oh, apparently I've missed Killaby's Twilly three times. I'm so sorry. I'm just totally into this chat. I apologise. Yeah, Captain Series 4 just takes... What they had was the boys meet, the girls meet. The boys tell a story, the girls tell the same story. But you're getting it from different perspectives, so they're highlighting different bits of it. And pretty much every episode... And then there's a conclusion to the episode. Every episode worked like that and it was fine. They went a bit more experimental in like series three, and that's why it works really well. Because Moffat is very good at doing different and interesting ways of telling story. And then it's just series four is just very generic, having a baby sitcom. It just doesn't work for me. Kind of felt like it was just thrown together at the last kind of minute. Twilly repulse because I missed. Um, I missed. I missed. I missed oh, Twilly's episode. Piss. Dan, Catch me, Jeff! Dan, would you ever do a chess ultra stream after John's yesterday's I would love an Ed Cube versus Twitch chess match? I'm gonna say something now in a slight teasing way. Mm -hmm. I'm getting up very early morning to do stuff with John tomorrow. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, Pixel Specbacker, did you ever watch Motorbike Mice from Mars? Yes, I did. Very long time ago, can't remember any of it, but I remember the characters. To the right. Jump early, jump to the right. Some people have been asking about Spongebob. I love Spongebob. Right. Mr. Ben! Oh my god, Mr. Ben. Oh, best right, thing. okay. I love Mr. Ben. What loves Mr. Ben? I love Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben is creepy as shit, man. No, Mr. Ben's <laughs> amazing. I find, like, children's TV seriously creepy. It's like, these, these people are just getting into the world and this is well, how we're going to introduce them to stuff. Yeah, but have you seen In the Night Garden? What the children currently have. It's like, it's like baby children now. It's terrifying it's though. like 40 year old. <laughs> I really, really love Mr. Ben. I've nearly bought Mr. Ben artwork on many occasions because I just it's so satisfying. I like the people that are like, well, Doctor Who's for kids. I'm like, Doctor Who says arse and bitch and bastard. And the other day, the doctor called somebody a cunt, and I was like, whoa! Although well, I might be watching the thick of it, I might tell you. Oh, oh, opinions on Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I absolutely adore Ed, Ed, and Eddie. I haven't watched it in ages, and I need to watch it again. I don't like it. Oh, God, I love Ed, Ed and I Eddie. I don't like that overly animated, wacky... Oh, I love the animation style. It's so satisfying. I don't, I don't like, like, animated... I don't like over the top anime. Just don't care for it. Do you mean Mr. Bean? No, we mean Mr. Ben. Wow. Now, Mr. Bean, that's the <laughs> shit right there. Mr. Bean's amazing, yes. Somebody was like, oh, the other day, I can't remember if it was. There was like some post going around, someone tweeted to me that was. Um, I'm so sorry. Who's your favourite Scrubs character and why is Elliot? I can't stand Elliot. I love Elliot. She's my life. least favourite thing You've about You've not Scrubs. finished Scrubs, you can't talk about how I Elliot can't is. can't finish it. Painful. There's a thing going around that Mr. Bean's actually a serial killer and he acts like a bumbling idiot. Or a wow. contract killer or something. Uh -huh. And he acts like a bumbling idiot to get away with everything. Yeah, he's just a bumbling idiot. I'll be perfectly honest, right? Watching Mr. Bean go to the swimming pool is the funniest fucking thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Mr. Bean on a diving board. It's just Rowan Atkinson on a diving board being silly. And it's just the funniest fucking thing. I may have to end the stream soon because my my right hand has gone numb. Because of this 
<laughs> My mum just said Keenan and Kel. You didn't even like Keenan and Kel, man. Keenan used to winch at me when I used to watch Keenan and Kel. I enjoyed the era Keenan and Kel came from because Keenan it was Keenan and Kel, Sabrina Teenage Witch, Boy Meets World. But the best one was Teen Angel. And no bastard remembers it. Teen Angel was a show written by the Simpsons writers. Like, the, the writers who made The Simpsons really good, when they left, the thing they left to make was Teen Angel. So if you're like, oh, I really miss that comedy level of classic Simpsons, they went and wrote a kid's show that was also tied into the Sabrina years for some reason. Oh, Dan, Rebecca, thoughts on The Inbetweeners? I want to answer this question, right? I've watched all of The Inbetweeners in a state of absolute confusion because everyone was talking... Have you seen The Inbetweeners? Never. Everyone was talking about it, and everyone was saying it was really good, and then it popped up on Netflix, I think. And I thought, oh, I'll try it, because I've heard people talk about it. And I... Pissed. I cannot even remotely relate. First off, right, I can't relate to anything that happens in the in-betweeners. That's not a life that I have had or have any access to or, or anything. I don't understand any of what they're doing. But I just thought it was horrible. And they're just saying that everything's gay all the time, and then someone makes a friend, and then they just call him for it, and I just... I think it's because it's just not my world, but I just thought it was not okay. I have an issue with TV shows that feature primarily rough characters. I can't watch them. I can't watch... What was the superhero one? Look, it wasn't Skins. No, Skins was that teenage wank. What was the superhero one with the shitty kids? Why would I watch it? <laughs> See, I, I grew up in their world. I just didn't live that life, so I don't know of it. What was the... Someone's gonna say a thing. Someone said My Hero? Misfits! Oh, Misfits. <laughs> my Hero! <laughs> I don't know what My Hero is either, but that My happened. Hero is Arnold Hamill and, um... Guy from the most recent series of Taskmaster, whose name is completely escaped me, who I love since we're in Netflix. What's his face? What's his face? Jesus Christ. No, but Misfits was, it was one of those shows I just couldn't stand. It was just lots of Essex people yelling at each other. Maybe it's because I lived it. Maybe it's because I lived it. I don't want to go back. <laughs> I'm like, I escaped myself this. Hugh Dennis, thank you. People people in the chat are saying that they love the in-betweeners. Did you not Did you not find them calling people and things that they didn't like gay uncomfortable and inappropriate? Well, it depends if it's, I always say that if it's in a character, like, I like Pierce being racist in community because Pierce is a racist. Yes, because it's being, it's very clear that no one's happy about it. He it's is okay. always made the villain. The, yeah. All the main characters just find that funny, so it's put across as this is just but normal do they and have, it's funny. Do they have good lives? There's no consequences for that. To. That's that's the way. That's right. That's my trick to TV, and that's my trick to offensive comedy. It's basically school life. I that no. I I if I knew people like that, I would be very concerned that they weren't being very pleasant. Hello. <laughs> that was where I grew up. What do you jump? You have there. Okay. Again. There. Do you run for a little bit first? No, it's for me. It's just there's no like consequences for being yeah, unpleasant it's it was like, just oh they're gonna grow up and then apparently it's okay because they'll grow out of it which is not okay because uh, really they shouldn't be horrible who's the most offensive character on television Go time. I don't know. eric carman good point yes. eric carman and what happens to eric carman in every freaking episode he never wins he never, ever, 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 ever wins. Yeah, because everybody knows character. that he's horrible. It's very, yeah, he has very to clearly fall stated and fail. that he's unpleasant. And the only time he's ever won, they come back to it and he loses in a much harder way. Mm -hmm. The whole Scott Tenman thing isn't just a funny story. It's them correcting the one time they let Cartman win. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. Donald Trump has been saying. I said cartoon character. Oh, wait, no, yeah, you're right. So if yeah, that's always the trick to defensive is you just make sure that person never wins. Like Pierce never won. He never did anything. He was always hated and loathed by people and so lashed out. I mean you could do offensive characters, but there needs to be consequence of their actions. I mean you could do even in like games and shit, there's consequence for actions. Look at GTA, everyone goes, oh, it's the it's the worst game in the world. Really? Because when I kill someone, the police come after me. And that is a consequence to an action. Now <laughs> it's gonna spy that just got completely destroyed. Somebody said Hitler. Cartoon characters! Do you remember my family? Yes. Actually, I was saying about my hero. We'll talk about the... Uh... Yeah, I don't know okay. what my hero is. Arnold Hamill, the Irish comedian. Mm -hmm. 
played a superhero called Thermo Man. Uh, who was? Uh, I remember that the box art for it. Yeah, with he's him. Like, was he in like an orange and yellow suit? I, or something? Yeah, it was very bright. And then there was like some people standing behind him on the box. That's all. Yes, I know. there's his. <laughs> it's my knowledge of wife, girlfriend who becomes wife, who works in a. I wanted to say dentist, but it's. Is he a dentist? No, he's a celebrity doctor. Hugh Dennis plays a celebrity doctor. Sorry, someone saying, but Rebecca, the whole point of the in-between was that they were all losers. They all did stupid shit and got no reward for it. But yeah, but they got away with it. They didn't get... There was no consequence for it. And maybe it's just that their life is terrible is the consequence. But, but they're just kids, it. though. Yeah, it's, but... not, it's not a thing to be terrible. Yeah, the thing is it needs to be more explicit if it's for kids or whatever. I don't know. I don't care. I just... I just... I thought that was... But anyway, so, oh, right. You've got Thermo Man... And he's, he's, he's an idiot, he's a complete dolt. But he's really strong, so he goes and saves the day, etc. And um, so, yeah, he meets this the, the secretary or the receptionist or a nurse at Hugh Dennis's celebrity hospital or whatever. And it's just about adventures of... A, it's a sitcom about superheroes trying to keep a secret, don't they? When he's a bit stupid. And then, by the near the end, Arlo Hanna left... And they replaced him, they did like a regeneration thing where he, he lost his face in a poker game. They replaced him with James Dreyfus. And James Dreyfus was dreadful. I like James Dreyfus. I like James Dreyfus as well. But I he, love James Dreyfus. He, tri he just didn't do the job very well. My Family is one of those shows that I watch and laugh at. I, it's not great. But I fucking love Robert Lindsay. You have no idea how much I love Robert Lindsay. I have huge... Love. He's the only funny thing in extras. That's Robert. <laughs> His scenes in extras are amazing. Robert Lindsay and like um. Oh God, everything. He... Robert Lindsay play a good doctor. No, but I think he played the shit out of the master. Robert Lindsay is the master. Let me just process this. Sorry, a lot of people say that in between is is very accurate, and I find that very very sad. Darling, the in between is very accurate. You haven't watched it. From what you're saying about it. Just... It sounds like a very tamed down version of the people. They're unpleasant, inconsiderate, and they just don't seem to care about anything. Yes. That seems that seems right. Because it's cool to not care. Kind is cool. Boom. Watch it. I don't want to watch it. Um. I do like. Uh, but Chris Marshall is in uh, My Family. He plays the eldest son. Kind of vanishes for some series. He's a very old eldest son. Not that, not that Ed. No, not that Ed. But Chris Marshall currently set to be the next Doctor. You know, I've thought about this, and I don't think it's going to be him. But you know what? I'm okay if it is. I'm okay if it's Chris Marshall. Because... Can't yourself lucky you haven't met anyone like that, Rebecca. I do. <laughs> if, I, if I did wouldn't be talking to them. Oh. I possibly have, and then gone, oh, you're not very nice. <laughs> I'm bored, I'm bored of the cell, I'm just zoned out completely. Um, do the lifeguard Betty's challenge. Alright. Yeah, Chris Marshall, I'm okay with him being the doctor. I can't say that I am, but you never know. Huh? I can't say, it. the thought of it is not something that I particularly enjoy but he might be excellent i might be surprised i'd like to be surprised i just think that he doesn't have the the depth of i, I don't think he can bring the the darker moments of the doctor in so chris chibnall will see that and go oh we're gonna make him a lighter doctor and then we'll get a lighter doctor which will be better hooray that's basically the reason i want him to say yeah, we get a nice happy lighter doctor mm. someone keeps in chat keeps asking if i like churches I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I love their tongues especially. I mean, who doesn't? Um, my uh, great-grandfather had uh, a prize-winning one, and yeah. someone had that one. Oh, shucks. It was whole rusty. Aww. Mm, someone stole them. But anyway, mm -hmm. to get back to the question, to get back to the question at hand, Scrubs is one of those weird shows where I think the best <laughs> character is the lead character. As much as I love Dr. Cox and aspire to be everything that he is, JD is... JD's character growth makes Scrubs the show that it is. Mm -hmm. Without it, Scrubs would just be another TV, another comedy show. And it's more than a, a comedy show because of the growth that JD goes through. The biggest 
Um, what you just want to observe, that is his relationship with Elliot, which I'm not going to spoil because somebody close to me hasn't actually seen how that ends up. I just don't want to watch it. It's really good. I really hate The it. last series of Scrubs are really good. Not the final piece of crap one. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I can play Black Ops. I, just, I really don't like Elliot. So you can tell me things to do with Elliot because I don't care. I love Elliot. I love Elliot. Uh, right, should we go? I've got a, a, two rainbow, one rainbow. I've got no rainbows in here. Should we go for a rainbow? Rebecca thoughts on Pingu. Pingu's amazing. Pingu's amazing whatever age you are. I think I tried this one, didn't I? I can't remember now. Someone keeps asking if you've watched The Expanse, which I have not even remotely heard of. That sounds like a sci-fi channel. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Oh no, that's the one with this guy going ahead of me really close again. I didn't like it. No, there we go. The classic. Sounds good to me. I just think if anyone wasn't clear, I absolutely love Scrubs. I think Scrubs is amazing. Just Elliot is just... Every time Elliot it appears, I'm just like, oh, God. But I, th I think the show's one of the best TV shows of all time. It's amazing. It's truly amazing. It does feel like a reboot of MASH in some places. Therapy drama character, emotionless wine bucket. <laughs> sums you up so fast. <laughs> Definitely really good. I like Kiff actually. Kiff's my favourite. You know what? I don't really like any of the characters in Futurama, which is great because they all get absolutely abused and brutalised. I always find that the episodes where Bender gets a lot more character work done are the better episodes. Like, in fact, again, you've not seen the end of Futurama, you sick fuck. I just, I couldn't. Oh my goodness, when they brought it back, those episodes were shocking. They're, they. There is gold in that rough. There are diamonds in that rough. There is an episode with uh, Bender and um, what's his face, Hermes, and it is a beautiful episode. And it's a beautiful set of character moments, and the whole thing works just magically. Oh, oh, Rebecca, have you ever watched My Name Is Elle? I fucking love My Name Is Elle. Oh my god, I'm trying to get Daniel to watch it with me. Oh, I love my name as well so much. Oh, when it just stops my heart. Just, oh, the pain. You pass away. Oh, my name as well. You need to watch my name as well. It's so good. I can really <laughs> okay, quick quiz for the chat. Has anybody here seen My Name Is Earl? Who wants to know the ending that they had planned for it? Because it ends on it. It does just ends. But there is actually a planned ending that I know of. And I will tell if you're interested. But I have to tell me if people like you saying it, because there's no point me telling you for it. Nobody cares. <laughs> My name is Ear is Gold. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ear. This is a giant ear. That sounds like something they watch on like interdimensional cable and people like. Some people saying no and I don't want to, but a lot of people saying yes. I am interested. Yes. Okay, right, well you're gonna get it. So the, the whole promise you're gonna have to correct me on some of this, is uh, my name is Earl, is that he had a list. And he was trying to... He done loads of shit. And was he on the three-step program? The four-step program. Three-step program. Uh, yes. And the list was him making up for his past mistakes. Which is, <laughs> Big dick. Yeah. But that's like one of the things you do on the, the step program. I can't no, I no, he's not doing it because of that. Oh, he's doing uh, it. He's doing it because he won a lottery ticket. And he got hit. He scratched off the lottery ticket. Realised that he'd won all his money. And got hit by a car. Um, and ended up in hospital. And the ticket flew away. And then he was watching he, he was watching a TV show where they were talking. About, I assume it's a, an actual American TV show, but I don't know. Uh, where they were saying that uh, they were talking about karma, and he's like, "That's why I won that money, and they took it away from me because of all the bad things I've done. I need to be a good person." And then when he gets out of the hospital, he steps out and he's the winning lottery ticket on the ground, the one that blew out of his hand. So he crashes it, and he uses the money that, to right all the wrongs that he committed. Ah, that's okay. That's literally the open head. <laughs> so, you know, it's a good plot. It's an plot. excellent plot. The way they were going to end it, and they didn't end it like this, so I'm not giving you spoilers because the show didn't end, but I saw an interview with the, uh, the Enderman. The Enderman? The writer. What? Sorry, 100 robots for news. Stan learned to drive, or do you have to do all the driving? Neither of us drive, but I will be learning at some point. I just, cars are expensive. Are you excited for the Rick and Morty content coming to Gang Beasts and Rocket League? Yes, there will be a video on Gang Beasts one, I guarantee that. Okay, ending of... Ending of My Name is Earl. So he's got... He's started to struggle with his list. Is how the, the last episode would have started. He's going to be struggling with his list. And he, there's some stuff on there that he just doesn't know how to write. There's wrongs that he doesn't know how to write. And so he's getting... He's getting sort of off of his list a bit. And he's feeling sad. And then he meets a, a man... 
uh, in, a, in a pub, I believe, that's going to be. And that man is also working on a list. And the reason that man's working on a list is because... Earl... Uh, like, the news has been reported on Earl's list. Which is the start of Raising Hope, by the way. That was supposed to tie in the finale. I love Raising Hope. You hear that on the radio. Um, the, uh, the, no the news of Earl's list gets put around the place, and he, he discovers loads and loads of people are doing these lists and writing the wrongs. And so he realises that he has now brought more good to the world than bad. And instead of bothering to finish his list, he now considers himself comically square. And so he leaves. He, like, chucks his list away and goes up into the sunset to start living his life again. Which I think is a very nice finale idea. It's a lovely yeah. It's a lovely show. I really, really enjoy it. It's just nice to have, like, him just doing a nice thing. It's a show about somebody just... That was a very short-lived TV show that was very... It was only a couple of years... Oh, four or five years ago now. But it was a... It might have been... I can't remember the exact plot of it, but I think it was about Cupid. Mm -hmm. Cupid was like a bartender in New York and all that kind of shit. But it basically played out like every episode was a rom-com. And oh my god, it was the best thing! I mean, nobody watched it and died to death, but oh! You ever need to sell a TV show to me? Every episode's a rom-com. I'm in! Someone in chat asked if we've seen Office Space. Office Space is one of my favourite, 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 favourite films. I've not seen it. It's one of my shows, top man. ten favourite films. Probably top five. Excellent film. It's a nice, quiet little film. It's a beautiful film. Nothing happens. <laughs> Story on why I watch Office Space. B used to just be Office Space gifts at one point. A very long time ago. Don't reveal that bit of your history. Over ten years ago. Oh, it was a long time ago. Well, I would like to say that the, uh, the food thread... Oh, so much no on, on 4chan. 4chan is the best place to talk about Doctor Who. It's the only place that actually has fucking discussion about Doctor Who in this place. There isn't just wanking off in one direction or another. And there's a lot of wanking off, but in between that there's actual decent discussion. Which I really like. It's really proper critical discussion. In a month still. Uh, what are your thoughts on Fresh Meat and Bad Education? I can't watch either of them. I've literally watched like five, ten minutes of both of, them, of like each. I don't know where either of those things are. Um, they were they were on Netflix, so I thought I'd have a look at them. But one of them's got that comedian in who's not funny and sounds like quite unpleasant. <laughs> Do not. Still loving my life, Daniel. Um, no. Oh, what's it called? People in chat. Is it bad education that he's in? That I guy wish Simon Amstel, right? Nice. Jack Whitehall! I wish Simon yes, Amstel wasn't Ugh. so into veganism. Because he's too thin to be the face of vegans. Because when I think of vegans, I think of people looking anemic and dying slowly, and he's literally the personification of that. I... Oh, Jack Whitehall's in both. Probably. Well, I didn't like both of them then, thank you. Jack Whitehall's comedy routine. I watched his DVD. Uh -huh. Somebody got me. Actually, no. I think somebody bought what the DVD. Which I think is more insulting. <laughs> somebody bought what the Jack Whitehall DVD for their birthday, his birthday, and I was like, we have to watch this. It, I've never seen offensively bland comedy, mm. apart from Michael McIntyre, of course. But... Oh God, I went to see. I've told. I've told it. Oh, somebody somebody once said, why doesn't Michael McIntyre appear on um, panel shows? <laughs> which my response was because he doesn't actually know how to structure a joke. Here's the thing: I went to see Michael, Michael McIntyre because I. I I like comedy, and um, I like to see people. And he was very, very good on the TV, and he became very popular all of a sudden. And he was very funny. And I went to see his show after having seen many, 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 many comedy stand-up shows. Um, and it was every single thing that he'd done on the TV mm -hmm. for the entire thing. One new joke at the end that had actually been on a TV show, but it had only been on one TV show. <laughs> um. And it was only an hour long, and yeah. it was his arena tour, yeah. and I just could not believe that, that was for happening. The Amer for the American viewers in here, British comedy is not just an hour long. I'm very aware that American comedy is structured, so an American stand-up show is an hour long, you do you do the hour. Whereas British comedy tends to be an hour and a half to two hours. If you're someone like Ross Noble, you're probably going to be in there for two and a half to three hours. <laughs> if you can dodge, you'll be in there for like a Fuck week. It. Yeah, maybe you'll get a joke if you like it. But... <laughs> no, Daniel! <laughs> Good, uh, Ken Dodd put down in the stream. No! <laughs> There's everyone in chat side who's confused Ken Dodd. Ooh, 
Can we all agree that Russell Howard's best comedian? Right, I also went to see no. Russell Howard. I've seen Russell Howard twice. I'm about to say, yeah, no, I'm. Yeah. Fuck out my fucking yeah. screen, you fucking. Yeah. So his DVD <laughs> is really nice. I really like his, his Russ, first I, I, stand up like DVD. Have you seen his first stand up DVD? No. It's yeah. very nice. It's good. I do like it. I went to see that, that tour. It was very good. And then I went to see like his second tour of, I don't know, a later tour. And every single thing was a, a pop culture reference, so I didn't understand anything that he he said from the beginning to the end because it was all it was all pop it was all pop culture. Mm -hmm. It wasn't politics. It wasn't sort of news based. It was just and he I, I didn't. Has it was terrible. Exceptional charisma for a stand comedian. He seems lovely. He is a, just a ball of charisma. He has such a his his style of telling jokes is honed. Like, he's absolutely a professional, and he kind of hides it away, which I think is neat. He does a really good job. Like, he's not, he, he's very sort of old school and stuff, but I just, his comedy just isn't really, he does, when he's sort of off thing, when he's off piece, off his script, he's better. <laughs> there are some comedians that need to sit to them. Oh, thank you. Oh, sorry. No, sorry, the Austin Fletcher, are you sure you want to get a rainbow medal? Who knows what I will write? <laughs> get it, motherfucker. Anyway, sorry, I, I apologize for Um, I was saying something. I was saying. Russell, uh, yeah, I can't remember either. I'm so sorry. It's alright, you just interrupted me. I'm so sorry, I really liked Austin Fletcher's comment. I thought it was Izzard and O'Brien are my favorite comedians, says somebody. Eddie Izzard is. I adore Eddie Izzard. Miles above most of these things. I mean. Mm. I mean, for stand up comedy. Jesus Christ. The, I, like, I'm into stand up comedy. I think I've got as many stand up comedy DVDs as I do Doctor Who DVDs, and I've got a fuck ton of Doctor Who DVDs. <laughs> But I think that a lot, like a lot of TV comedy kind of is the safe mainstream stuff. It's the Zoellas of comedy. Mm -hmm. Like it's the stuff that's going to, and then you get like the controversial ones and then like a few shows on the that controversial comedian. But I mean, if you've ever been to Edinburgh, just the shit that you can. Well, I haven't because somebody's been promising to take me for what, it's five old, years and somebody's never taken me. Busy place, you're never going to like it. But five, those little been, bits of comedy that you can eat out. Five years, Daniel. We were friends, and you were like, "I'll take you to Edinburgh." And I was like, "Mum, I'm going to Edinburgh. I'm your friend." Then I met on the internet. <laughs> yeah. And then you didn't take me. No, take five, 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 five. Shut your face. <laughs> Love you. I love you too. Well, Mark's had the rainbow medal. No, you asshole. No, I forgot to jump there as well. I got too distracted. Oh, I've got to beat you now. Uh, We've both been to, uh, well, I've been to City Mansion a lot of times. Three or four now, yeah. yeah. Um, we were actually standing pretty much next to each other outside of the Mansion game before we knew each other. Yeah, but. There was only I didn't like see six it. people outside, so it was definitely us standing next to each other. But we didn't know who we were. No. Nope. And do you know why I wasn't paying attention? Why? David Tennant was there, and I met David Tennant, and it was I just, awesome. I just wanted to get another hug after mention. Oh, I'm sorry. So I was like, no, I must be first. I think I was, I think I was the first one there. Yeah, we, we, uh, I was, uh, we, um, we backed out the line because we saw David Tennant. <sighs> no, I was like, we no, did, we did Tim Mitchell. Mitchell. I'm here for Tim Mitchell. Didn't meet Tim that time. Didn't see David Tennant. Did you didn't meet Tim Mitchell? No, 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 no. <sighs> Um, somebody said Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer has to be the worst, right? So like She's not the worst, but her new show was fucking dire. And I'm not right. I know that the whole internet's supposed to hate Amy Schumer and it's all trolls and right wing people, right? She makes a pro rape joke, joke five minutes in. Pro rape. She makes a pro rape joke five minutes in. It's not. That's fucking just. Just fuck off! Jesus fucking Christ! Structure a joke and then tell me that it's the critics' fault. Fuck I feel like we should hell. read out people's names and say yes or no. So, Bill Bailey. So much yes. Oh my God. Bo Burnham. Oh wait. Yes. Bo Burnham specials in favorite. I like the first one. Uh, what? I like what? Which is your favorite? Make happy. I think he is. I think what is an incredible what? show, especially how it deals with offensive comedy. It nails everything. Everything perfectly, um, but I really think the Make Happy's overall structure, themes, form, everything is just better. Uh, someone said um, Al Murray is a golden god. I I like Al Murray on the radio. I don't get the pub landlord at all. That's not my thing. I like the pub landlord. I think his comedy is solid. I think he does. Sometimes he is taking the piss out of the people that are there to see him. 
more than playing the part. But it is, I mean, it's, it's stuff like the history of the world and stuff. Why does that guy go so fast? He's always doing that. He, he's a very clever comedian. Which is why he was so he's disappointing in Taskmaster. Yeah. He just paid his way to everything. I mean, like. that's fine, but yeah, no, he's just, I don't know. I, felt... I was like, I expected so much for him, from him. Yeah, I um, uh, Paul Merton. I, I've been to see Paul Merton a few times. It, uh, Paul Merton's amazing. Thousands of loves. Yeah, he's just excellent. I mean, I like improv more than anything else ever, so I obviously very much enjoy it. I prefer uh, structured, scripted. Oh, no, I like improv much better. Somebody mentioned Billy Connolly yet? Because yes, people have men mentioned Billy Connolly. Billy Connolly is the master. We saw him. We did. We saw him very, very short while. Mm -hmm. And he was exceptional. It was a fucking masterclass. Just an absolute masterclass of storytelling. <laughs> Nothing. My, my, I took my dad because my dad is the biggest Billy Comedy fan in the world. Actually, dad Just... took us. Oh shit, yeah. Dad took us. <laughs> it, was, it, was our, it was our wedding present, wasn't it? It was. We had dad. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect night. Oh, you go, let's speed there, slow me down. Shit. <laughs> oh, you do like it very much, though. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, prefer the, it's the oldest stuff that he's done, I've always. Billy like, it's See, it's one of those things that I want to see, like, even though I'm not into it. Even if I, if I wasn't coming, I want to see Billy Connolly because he's the best. Oh, and yeah, you, it's you, important show, to just see Billy Connolly. But, I mean, even that show, like, he's he couldn't fucking move. Yeah. He is sitting, he's, he's standing there, like, leaning on this thing for support. He's, Parkinson's up the absolute bum hole. And he's just sitting there making an entire room of people laugh. And it's just, oh, it's a master. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, someone keeps saying Peter K. I, now, me and Rebecca differ when it comes to Peter Kay. I don't even remotely, even slightly get anything. I don't understand what he's talking about. I cannot relate to a single thing he said. But he just, for me, he always just comes across as really self-obsessed with Big Kay. I mean, I just find that... I cool. find Peter Kay really funny when he's doing his pop culture stuff. Because he does pop culture 80s, comedy. 90s. I don't he does get 80s, it. 90s stuff. But it's not pop culture, it's more... It's it's 80s, 90s observational, which I think is a, a weird little niche that he cracked for himself. But it's just just stuff he does about VHS tapes and all that sort of stuff. It just he does it so well. I it's love I world. love how he looks and how he acts when he looks, and he knows how he looks and he knows to act in the right way. His writing is touch and go. Like is is his writing is all over the place. Like stuff like the car. Sh I mean, car share is a perfect example. First series of Kasha I'd recommend to anyone because I think it is just perfect, gentle comedy. It's beautiful, perfect, gentle comedy. The second series is just a shit. With two episodes, because I'm assuming it's going to be a Christmas special. And let's end it on a cliffhanger. He said, now nah, not going to write anymore. It's like. Uh, and then you've got stuff like. Um, his two shows, or his two main shows. There's the funny one and the not funny one. He did that one about being an ice cream man. I've literally not got that list. There's Phoenix Knight, yeah. which I don't like. And there's the other one which I do like. I can't remember what that one is. I don't know. Really. This is another show. We had. We have to look to the thing. We're not Phoenix Knight, we're just Phoenix Knight. I don't really care for Phoenix Knight. Max and Paddy's? That was just a spin off of Phoenix Knight. The Peter K thing? It might have just been a straight Peter K thing. Everyone's saying Max and Paddy. No, that was the spin-off of the thing. <laughs> Jim Jeffries, Jesus Christ. I love Jim Jeffries, man. Like, Jim Jeffries is that sort of just... Ah, fuck, he's Jim Jeffries. It was Jim Jeffries <laughs> who you put on that I wasn't really... He's the Australian one. Oh, did I like him in the You end? were the one who... You, yeah, you were You were a little... You are a little mixed, but he, he's super offensive in, like, very offensive ways. You, like... There's Jim Jeffries and there's Bill Burr, and they both play different sides of offensive comedy. Jim Jeffries just wades into it. Bill Burr does a really nice distancing of himself through it. But does he, he distances himself with Beery's aggression. He gets to distance his thing. I love aggressive stand-up comedy that's well-timed. You fuck that up, you've got bad comedy. You do it right, you've got brilliant comedy. Yep. Uh, someone said, um, uh, Lee Evans. I think it's Lee Evans. So oh, many times. Yeah. I don't think I've seen anybody more ever more than I've seen Lee Evans. I've, I saw Lee Evans when I was in Edinburgh. I, one year I went, I had very little money. I was very excited to see lots of little things, but Lee Evans was there. And he was the first stand-up I ever saw. 
I saw um, XL Tour in 2005. It's the first person I've ever saw. I've got a t-shirt for that in the room. It was my sister's birthday present. And, uh, it was probably mine, like from my mom. Oh. Yeah, my mom. My mom was like, "Right, he's gonna swear a lot. That's okay." But literally, I for two and a half hours, man. I was, I was on the fucking floor laughing. Yeah, I used to just cry laughing. I want to watch it. I want to watch that tonight. Okay, I still like it. It's out there. Scottish tour that he did, which is the Scottish one. Uh, Live in Edinburgh. Oh, that's my favorite one. It's so good as well. But that is, I mean, Levens is. If Levens didn't have a script, he's funny. He is a very funny person. But his script is is always poor. His scripts are very generic, very comedy. But he just brings all of the love. It's always that physical thing. comedy. It's just it's always perfect. physical comedy. I I always preferred watching his DVDs massively more than going to see him live on the basis that I don't know if it's because I was seeing him in Newcastle or what, but it was always very football heavy. Mm -hmm. It was like a third of it was football and. I know literally nothing about football. I used to see him in uh, South End, which is basically home turf for him. So he would pull out all the stuff and he would do a brilliant thing. He was yeah. bad in the Fifth Element. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> he was exceptional in the Fifth Element. He was, he's exceptional in everything. He oh is. my god, Mouse Hunt. Oh, he makes Amazing. That film. If you've never seen Mouse Hunt, I think it's on Netflix. Live action Tom and Jerry with Lee oh, Evans. Perfect. And um, basically, it's. Thingy who I love. Oh, I can't think his name. Oh no. Thingy, Nathan oh. Lane. Oh, Nathan Lane. Oh, Who I love worked with Robin Lane. Williams in the wonderful oh. film. The best page. Okay. The best film ever. Like, I really, really like that film, Mouse Hunt. Mouse Hunt's amazing. I yeah. just obsessively watch it. Lee Evans, man, is super. I mean, he got basically, that was my introduction to stand up comedy. I was like, oh my god, that's literally the funniest thing ever. But again, Lee Evans is a. Is a an okay script, but with just pure presentation behind it. And every little beat and punchline is just perfect. <laughs> Wait, is Lee Evans the skinny one or the fat one? That's <laughs> the thin one. He's the skinny one. You Jeff need to watch stuff with Nathan Lane. And... <laughs> Jeff Dunham. Jeff Dunham's a racist. Um, <laughs> I don't really know Jeff Dunham. He's the puppet guy. He just he's, does very racist puppet. He's got funny moments, but overall... He's a lot more miss than so, what, so a few people keep saying Stuart Lee, so obviously we have to discuss Stuart Lee. Fuck, I love Stuart Lee. Fuck. I didn't really know Stuart Lee, and then you put one in on a shot. Oh, God, 41st, it's excellent. 41st best. You only watched like a little bit of it as well. That was absolutely... Uh, yeah, but it was all of it was excellent. 41st best comic in the world, Stuart Lee. That was superb. All about his mum. That's one of my favourite stand-up shows that I've seen in years. So we got. I've got. I brought the um, Stuart Lee box set where he, he sort of like squishes loads of comedians together. So good. And he just does. I like. I like. I like. See, gaming and comedy for me. I have the exact same thing. Obviously, I don't particularly care for mainstream shit. I like more obscure things. I've seen a lot of it. Whereas with something like TV I'm, and movies, I'm happy to go. Tommy Cooper. I love Tommy Cooper. He's a fucking legend. There's that. There, some people like. Break away from you know just being a comedian and get legend. Oh, that's a close. No one said John Rivers in chat, or at least if you have, I haven't seen it, and that makes me really sad. I I went to see John Rivers, and that was like such a big deal for me because I just I I Look, love John Rivers so much. He's just perfect at what so you good. what you did, and and I was so happy to have been able to see her, and she was amazing mm -hmm. and wonderful and. That's where he beats me. I've just seen where he beats me. Because he's always ahead of me at this point. Sorry, I'm playing the game as I can. And uh, a few people have said Catherine Ryan. No, I absolutely love Catherine Ryan. And I have. I think she has a lot of potential to fill that massive void that John Rivers left. I mean, she'll never be you John Rivers. You have to be careful, though, because if you uh, try and fill a void and you underdo it, you get irritating, like Vic fucking Reeves with his like poor Eric Morkham impression. He doesn't oh. slide until he goes. So what you said, Victoria Woods? Magical. Web 077. Seven, seven. You know my favourite person to say, Victoria Woods. Funniest woman on the planet ever. As a child, Victoria, uh, Victoria Woods is my favourite, favourite, favourite person. Her um, mm. an audience with Victoria Woods is one of the best. Dinner Ladies, man. Dinner Ladies is... If you've never seen the TV show Dinner Ladies, it's just, I think it's just two seasons long. Her songs long. are perfect, though. Her songs, I think, are just what make her... Yeah, Supersonic her. Blur, Dinner Ladies, man. It's... Dinner Ladies is a sitcom unlike no other. For one thing, it's an almost entirely all-female cast 
written by a woman, done by a woman, but it is, it's, it's a woman's sitcom, really. Is that a fair way of putting it? It is, it is properly a, a woman's workplace sitcom, and there's, there's nothing like it. No. Uh, there's nothing like that on TV. It's... And you know what? There should be more like that on TV. But apparently she was a fucking nightmare to work with, because she was bringing in, she was like, yeah, that scene you memorised that we're doing in front of an audience in three hours? I've rewritten literally every second of it. That's how it got so good. That's but why that it is, so good. she honed it to perfection, yeah. Oh, also Eggman Antiques, <laughs> which is just brilliant. Eggman Antiques is glorious. I don't know how anyone could not like Eggman Antiques. So uh, someone keeps saying Kevin Bridges. I really like Kevin Bridges. I haven't really seen Kevin Bridges do much stand-up. I've only seen him do a oh, little yeah, bit. Cool. But when I have, I, I I don't know if I just like him or what. But I I really I really like Kevin Bridges. Okay. Would you like a really boring fact? Boring fact nerds? Yes, I love Do you want to know how Lee Evans got his big break? I, I think I know, but please tell me. Lee Evans got his big break because a Red Dwarf character was ill. Hattie Hayridge, who plays Holly in the latest series of Red Dwarf, mm -hmm. and when Holly gets replaced with a, another computer just called Holly, Norman Lovett is replaced by Hattie Hayridge. And, um,. Uh, she was doing stand-up with Lee Evans. I mean, you, she actually writes a lot of Lee Evans stuff. Because she's always in the press for Lee Evans, so they work together. But she was supposed to be the, the lead of a comedy thing one night. And Lee Evans was supposed to be the second place. Supposed to be like sort of a... Well, I might have even been the fucking warm-up for it. But she was ill, so couldn't do the thing. So Lee Evans got a uh, full place. He got the, the headline for it. So we had to do a longer bit than normal. And um, that night there was literally like a uh, fucking agent or someone in was like, you're amazing, let's go work and be together. And so we got this break, because Hattie Hayridge was ill. Hattie Hayridge, it, you literally could have been Hattie Hayridge doing all that. Although, I don't, because she's a woman in a stamp comedy world, which is always fucking difficult. Mm -hmm. Cough, that. Uh, a few people say Jimmy Carr. I like Jimmy Carr. I've seen him a few times. I've actually Jimmy Carr. I've bumped into three times independent of his shows. Like literally, just met Jimmy Carr, and it was a weird thing. Like literally, like just in a street in London. I can't remember. I, uh, before, I mean, they've all been like where he's having shows and stuff. But once in a street in London, once in South End, and the weirdest one was just in Leicester. In Leicester, as I came out of my university, I literally physically bumped into someone. Oh, sorry, it was Jimmy Carr. <laughs> what the fuck? I met you three times. I like him deal with hecklers, but it's not really, it's not really my kind of thing. I think he's he's very he's a really really. I'm glad he's he's found a niche as a host. He's a yes, great he's a host. very good host. Oh, winning that one. Someone said Jasper Parrot. I absolutely love Jasper Parrot so much. I love every show that he's in. I love I love Funky Moped. I love I just love Jasper Parrot. And then I went to see my fellow, I think it was, in London, and he was there. He was there, Jasper Parrot was there. I came out the thing, Jasper Parrot was there, and I was not very old. I was like 10 or 11. And oh my goodness, I just was so excited to meet Jasper Parrot. And I asked him for his autograph, and I was so excited. And his manager kept talking to me, and I think they thought that a parent, like my parent had sent me over to go, oh, go get Jasper, like, and assumed I didn't know who Jasper Parrot was. But I just obsessively used to watch Jasper Parrot and the detectives, and... <laughs> I adore the detectives. Do not. To all the people saying George Carlin, there's no point in continuing to say George Carlin because, as we all know, he's one of the finest stand-up comedians of all time. He is the American Billy Connolly. He defined American comedy. American stand-up comedy is the way it is because of him and Louis C.K. True. Louis C.K. is a complete revolution of American comedy. I know you're not particularly fast on him. I, know, I, I don't like George Carlin. George Carlin is. I am I'm aware that obviously that he's, he's his done a place lot of in comedy, comedy history, yeah. But in actual, it's not something that well, I want to watch. Well, he is. He's ever. very anarchistic in his comedy. He's very fuck religion, fuck this. It's too fuck aggressive that. and nasty. Yeah, you know what? I, I don't think like that. I think aggressive comedians these days. So your Bill Burrs and stuff, and your Rod Gilbert, who I fucking like love, Gilbert. have pitched the aggression better. But I still. Finest, one of the finest companies ever. He got arrested for things. I fucking can't stand Frankie Boyle. So Frankie Boyle on my fucking chat. Yeah, no, Frankie Boyle is not okay. <laughs> I like. In power shows, he's pretty entertaining, but I just don't care for his. Just, I'm being the shit out of this Rainbow Guy now. I'm surprised to see him back on TV, honestly. Well, the Rainbow Guy, what? After this being. 
I thought that would have been him done, hopefully. But I don't know. Oh, you asshole! How did you get that burst of speed? Ed Burn, I used to really, really like, but I'm not really fussed on now. He's done shit all for a while, hasn't he? Mm. He's hit that sort of like does comic relief era that uh, you know, people do. Oh, Jennifer Saunders and Don French. So I quick mention there that they're amazing. Sarah Millican, I love. Sarah oh, Sarah Millican's funny. Right, Sarah Millican is the British Amy Schumer, but she actually makes it work because where Amy Schumer just goes, "Rape is hilarious, my vagina." Sarah Millican Can actually disarms you with it. Oh god, her, Where, her joke on potato printing. Yeah. Vagina, oh, just, I can't, that's just honestly. Amy Schumer's punchline is, my vagina is smelly. Sarah Millican's setup is, my vagina is smelly. That's the difference. Oh, god. It's true though. <laughs> Sarah Millican, as well, if you see her in, in Newcastle, is very, very good. She just <laughs> talks about a local place. There's some flashes in you that's left my wallet, Flinch. Seeing, hey, Fletch, what's this one? <laughs> seeing Ross Noble. And Sarah Milken in Newcastle is a joy because they just talk about the North East. We will East. travel up to Newcastle next time Sarah Milken. Oh yes, we please. Should go see it proper. We it's see sort it. of because like for me, a lot of things that get talked about is all in the south, and I have I don't know. I I'm not, I I'd like and that's not where I'm from. It's not. I mean, I don't leave my house, so fuck it. You're lucky this time, Fletch. It's not. It's not something that I get to really experience. But obviously, the North East I know really well. And hearing. I was just going to say, listen to you talk for fine. This is kind of like just playing through a podcast on this time. <laughs> yeah, and, and she just she talks. Oh, she talks about the bus of the Bolton that goes around from um, that goes around Asbury. Like, <laughs> so it's very specific. She talks about specific bus route. I'm like, I don't have bus route. And and like, oh, Ross Noble likes to talk about pubs and stuff. And and um, three bulls heads. I used to live right next to Cramlington as well. So I'm, I'm from Cramlington. Oh, that's so good seeing them. Oh, Tim Vine. I have a I have a bit of a I have a bit of a Tim Vine Tim problem. I I know all of Tim Vine's jokes. I know his stand up so well, and every single time we watch any of it, I cry the second it starts. And it's I I it's so perfect, and I like stupid jokes. And it's just so stupid. You know who I really like. I was going to mention Will Hodgson, because no one mentions Will Hodgson. <laughs> Will Hodgson is a comedian from Chippenham, uh, which is <laughs> not a great place. Um, but Will, yeah, he's a comedian from Chippenham, and he is, he grew up literally in the house opposite my mum. And I didn't know this, and I went to see this guy in Edinburgh, because what got me loads of tickets for things was like, look, these are the things you need to see, and I trust <laughs> his instinct on a. Uh... Thank you, people. Thank you, Jess Bray. Oh my god, don't interrupt. I'm, I'm in the so salon. Sorry. God, and Ben. I can't cope with combined jobs and child. It's not one. Right, so yeah, so he, he, I went to see this guy and I the water recommended, and he started talking about literally the street my mum grew up on, which was a bit weird. But he he's a West Country comedian who just. Is this just. It's weird. He does punk, and he's got like. Like My Little Pony tattoos before bronies were a thing. He just liked My Little Ponies and he liked 90s toys. And he does a great uh, 80s and 90s nostalgia podcast called We Hope It's Chips on SoundCloud. And I think there's a new episode every Sunday. And I listen to it every single time. There's only a few hundred people listen to it. So you should totally pick that up. Have a listen to that shit. But um, it was a, it was a weird show. He's, he's a really, like I showed you yesterday. No, it was like yesterday or the day before. I finally showed you some of his comedy. What did you think of it? I struggled actually with his accent. Oh and yeah, how he has a very speaks. thick West Country accent and talks fast. He has a real beat to his. It's, it's, all, it's very storytelling poetry thing. It's a very southern accent that I don't. It's hear a Western very well. accent, thank you very much. Well, well it's southern accent. Exactly what I'm used to. <laughs> if it goes up north, I'm fine. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Will Hobson absolutely would recommend. Uh, I enjoyed what he was saying for the most part. I don't think that bit was the best bit for me. That's a very, that's like a very brief thing. His shows are a lot sort of slower and slower. Based. His first DVD, he looks so uncomfortable and awkward and it's beautiful. Um, the person saying Keith Lemon is fucking dire, I can't stand him. I find Keith Lemon, actually, what's he called him probably? <coughs> what's his actual name? Brian Fandango. Uh, the, that guy. I find that very frustrating because he does these characters that are just awful and not funny and he is such a talented individual and I find that 
tragic because he just seems to be selling out for money and I his puppets that he made when he was younger are just amazing and he's got this skill and it's just wasted and I just find that so frustrating he could be so good everyone's saying that he's terrible I agree Les Dawson so yes I can't do it I can't Steve Hughes are we drinking? Are we drinking? <coughs> Give me a thumbs up. Steve Hughes is fucking brilliant. What does Steve Hughes look like? Uh, Australian long rocker oh, hair. Okay. I, Curly just, rocker uh, hair. I don't tell this to Australian. He does a bit on um, the gayest thing in the world to be is straight. Because he's like, what do you want? I want to fuck a man. That's a hard man. What do you want? Oh, I want to cuddle a soft woman. Uh, fucking home, are we? This whole bit on it's great. He's so good. He does a lot on... Yeah, he's just basically just a fucking old rocket. He's an old Australian rocket. Oh, that, <laughs> where do you Hardy. get that speed from in that last second? I'm getting 0 0.01 of a second off every time. I like Laurel and Hardy. Uh, Tim Key. I love like Tim, Tim Key. Key. He's so fucking funny. Tim Key combined with Alex Horn and Mark Watson is literally comedy dream team for me. Everything that's good about British comedy is those three. They need to do more stuff together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Lee Mack is very good, but not someone that I actually want to watch, but is very good. He's very yeah, he's, good. He's, he's, he's very of... quick. He's very yeah, he's, quick. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's better... He's a proper club he's comedian, He's a proper <laughs> panel show comedian. Yeah. More than a style comedian. Somebody said Rich Hall. I love Rich Hall. I used to really like Rich Hall, but I never really seem to do anything. Funny. I just kind of like him as a person. He's always been that American that keeps like American politics in check for me. Oh! We discussed Michael Depp McIntyre <laughs> scathingly and in depth earlier. David Mitchell doesn't do stand up comedy, does it? Just a fantastic little writer, man. He's a fantastic writer. The best wife in the universe. <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. I feel like if you were like. If, if someone. If like. The thought of David Mitchell being in a relationship, you're like, well, obviously David Mitchell's going to be the cool one in the relationship. Oh, here we go! Rainbow! And then you're like, nope. Victoria Curran's just everything. Yeah. Alan Davis. Funny, as no. on QI, not a great comedy. Like, Stephen Merchant's stand-up comedy was terrible. Mm. Oh, God, it was dying. As in, like, Alan Davis. Alan Dara Brian. Breen, I like. John Oliver, don't really care for. Dara O'Brien is so good doing stand-up. Stand and even if you're not really into the stand-up that he's doing, he's so tall. So satisfying. You could be right at the back and he just looks like he's right there in front of you. Genuinely. Genuinely that yep. tall. No matter where you say. John right Bishop, there. I think, is quite funny. I don't like John Bishop. I'm just now looking at the chat for this last bit because I'm tired. I'm done. I'm done with this stream now, I think. I'm done with Sean Locke, I find irritating. I love Sean Locke. Very Locke. funny. Good power show guest, not great. 15 no, Stories was excellent. I really like that, Sean Locke. I think he's very funny. Trevor Noah is a better stand up comedian than he is host of The Daily Show. Oh, we haven't talked about. Um, oh, Davis. I love, Greg Davis. I love Greg Davis. He's fantastic. Throwing, throwing cheese balls at a dog was just amazing. In the back of my mind, we've got a one we've not seen downstairs. Oh, they were both amazing. Um, New and Jones is quite fun. Ramesh Ranganathan is amazing. I hadn't seen him before. Tash Nobody Master, has but I really enjoyed him. Bob Monkhouse. <laughs> Bob, I see. I never really liked Bob Monkhouse, but Bob Monkhouse is obviously legendary in what he did. Robin it's Williams. His stand-up's not great. I love it, and I will watch it, and I will laugh, but it's not the thing. I struggle with fast American over the top. Mm, it's very over the top. I just, I really Sandy struggle Tuxvig. with that. Sandy Toxvig. I don't know. I love Sandy Toxvig. I feel like she doesn't ever really do stand. Uh, do, <laughs> she doesn't ever really do stand up. She just does like conversations and chats. I mean, I've been to see her, and I absolutely adore her. And it's more just a, a nice, friendly chat. The awesome oh. French. <laughs> oh, shit. My voice has actually gone. I've actually See, now, blown my voice. We were going to be, apparently, according to Daniel, getting rid of uh, the top cheer, but I have a sneaking <laughs> suspicion that might be there until the end of time. <laughs> thank you very much to the Awesome Fletch for 6,500 Twitters. That's so, thank you. That's so, so kind. You know, to keep it as the most amazing stream. Oh, no, it's gone. You have to go back and get it. Go back and get it. It's not in top cheer, it's that one. And Scyther again, he sneaks those hundreds in. He just likes to pit Scyther. Scyther's always pops in straight after top cheer. Bill Bailey's very good. I mentioned him because we all know he's very good. This we mentioned Bill Bailey. Oh, I mentioned Bill Bailey. I adore Bill Bailey. Jethro. <laughs> he has some good jokes, but he is quite, you know, racist. <laughs> he's quite West Country that way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'll tell you, I was surprised. <gasps> oh, yes, <sorry>. Grandma. 
<laughs> I haven't done that extreme yet. Oh. Uh, I was surprised at how massively racist they were, so I had to leave because, oh, wow. Um, oh, what's it called? Joe Pasquale? Yeah. I just didn't. Think about Joe I kind of assume that people aren't going to be racist because why would you be? <laughs> and then you go and you're like, whoa, and then you have to leave because, whoa. I like Jack D. Jackie's like... very good, but Freddy Star, oh God. I love Dave oh. Gorman's stories. He's wonderful. Sam Rick is playing through the ramping week from birthday. Time to buy the tickets. Go. She's really funny. Enjoy. Original Dean Hunter. Go. Who? Sarah Milliken. Oh, Sarah Milliken's amazing. Fable 2. It's not a comedian. It's funny. Um, who else have I seen? Adam Hills. I've never seen his stand up. Uh, Roy Shelby Brown. Get the fuck out of my street. <laughs> yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. I think we're done. I think now he's mentioning David O'Dockerty. We have a we have a poster with David O'Dockerty in our hall, but it's like the Concord poster that he just happens to be warming I up for. I love David O'Dockerty. Recently, I've not seen much of him. I think he's still been doing tours and shit. Um, yeah, if you want any stamp comedy recommendations, plenty. Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I wasn't a big fan of his new one. Yeah. Kevin Hart. I wasn't a big fan of his new one either. <laughs> Alan Partridge. Yes. Um, the Chappelle Show, though. Oh my God, the the um, the draft, the draft. Oh my God, that is one of the funniest race sketches I have ever seen in my life. But you know, there's a sports draft, like the wrestling does, where they call names mm-hmm. and they get things. Dave Chappelle does a uh, different races doing their drafts and who they want to get. So it's like what black, what white people or whatever black people want to claim that year, and what white people they want to claim. It's like they were black people want to claim O.J. Simpson and all that stuff. Ricky Gervais' stand-up is nine. It's terrible. It's got funny bits in it, but he could do better. Uh, I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, fucking racial draft man. It's the funniest thing. Chappelle show is superb. Someone just said Key and Peele. I didn't know who Key and Peele were, but Daniel keeps putting Key and Peele Sketch sketches on, and they're really good. Then, I was really surprised. Names to watch out for in comedy in America. You've got Key and Peele, and you've got Donald Glover. I didn't read, I finished reading the top sheet. I'm sorry. When you're because we had so many twiddly scattered on from my five, what was it, four or five different rainbows. Thank you today. so much, the awesome Fletch, though. Seriously. Chris Rock is brilliant. Love Chris Rock. That's pretty much definitely. I mean, you may not get any reactions from any black comedians because Rebecca's a racist. So. I really struggle with loud. American stand up. Dave Chappelle isn't like that. No one really likes No, that, David Chappelle isn't. Uh, but I just, I just, I don't. A lot of it I don't. I, if it's anything pop culture, I'm not going to get it. And if I just, I don't like loud. I feel like they're shouting and they're angry. And I just feel like I have to sit back and be like, what? And it's just not. We're going to read one more. Wedding when? Oh, he's funny as shit. Um, <laughs> uh, Craig he's... Ferguson. That's the one we hadn't mentioned. I said we hadn't mentioned anyone yet. Craig Ferguson, as much as stand-up isn't the strongest thing, is one of the most magical human beings the world has ever seen, and I absolutely love Craig Ferguson. Incidentally, just going to bring this, just going to bring this mic close for this little thing here. Um, oh, thank you for the five hundred doodlies, Stephen. Lee, I have no idea who Stephen Lee is. No, I don't know. We'll have to look. At Stephen Lee. Actually, I'm going to rewatch this bit on the Twitch thing and then watch a lot of these people. But um, uh, I'm just going to say that Craig Ferguson is my uh, second choice for the Doctor after Adrian Lester. Yes. I support this. Because I think he'll play the absolute his shit out of the doctor. Along. His dog's going to come on. Yes! <laughs> his wife's dog and his dog. Right, I'm going to read the top comment. I'm going to finally read the top comment. Alright. Awesome Fletch. 6,520. Thank you very much. Nerdcube is the most amazing streamer in the world. Right, it's going so to give me... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying the Awesome Fletch. I'm trying. He's going to give me a shout out in his next video. 30 out of 10 must subscribe. Oh, you have to do that now. No. Aww. I do not know who Stephen Lynch is. <laughs> you're just making sure you're getting loud as the Loki strips go on. I'm closer to the mic. I keep moving just it. Just get excited now. I also, I'm getting excited because you're talking about people I like. I'm going to get excited about things that I like. Anyway, that was a stream. We're going to end this now. That is Action Hank. It's currently like $5, $3.73 on the Steam store on sale. It's a really fun game. If you've got a podcast on it, you just zone in. It's a really good platformer. I like it very much. One million to release for a shout out. Yes. And we've already had a, a podcast suggestion of We Hope It's Chips. Yeah, go listen to We Hope. We'll link that in the description. I'm going to fling that into the description Can now. Can I also recommend if people want things to listen to, listen to just a minute, because it's the greatest, funniest piece now, of radio Now, I'd like ever. to point out that We Hope It's Chips is two people from Chipnam having a pub discussion. Uh, and it's recorded in a pub 
And now, well, it used to be. Now it's recorded in a. Uh, yeah, in a hairdresser's. So, uh, <laughs> warning, it contains very strong language and smokers cough. But, um, yeah, I'll link that in the thing. Boom, it's in there. I mean, it was, I'll wait a few seconds before I put it in the thing. But if you want to listen to a, an interesting little podcast, it's in there. And I'm assuming podcasts are going to jump on this and spam this to a thousand things. Thank but there, there's the thing. Anyway, that was a fun stream. I enjoyed that. We, we streamed for three hours? Somehow, how the fuck do we stream three hours? Thank you, Han Polcat. <laughs> right, we're out of here. Thank you very much for coming along. My voice is completely shot to shit. But um, that was good. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye.